the first two seasons. Oh, 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 yeah, I'll have to watch that. Yeah. See, oh, oh, binge watch them tonight, Susan. Mm. Oh, yeah, tonight. <laughs> Which so, one's so. that one? Remind me. Which one's that one? It's Rickard Gervais. It's on Netflix. Oh, it's- oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lovely. It's, it's oh, Pat Tree's really, coming out. That's great. Really, That's really first, lovely. It's a good show. It's, it's my favorite. I was binge watching it last night. All the episodes I'd seen 17 times. Oh. Ready for tomorrow. So I have to watch at least the last episode of season two because I don't remember where they yeah. left off. Yeah. Uh, so, Lori, I should change my category because my category was going to be uh, celebrities that are still alive that really probably sh- aren't going to be for long. I guess I should not do that tonight. Then, huh? <laughs> don't say um, that. They'll, they'll be Rob. dropping like flies after that. You know, you're a very powerful person, Rob. And no, if you I, do I'm a not category one, like that. I am not the one to, who killed Betty White. Somebody here is the one who killed Peggy. Betty White. <laughs> and, and Bob Saget, too. Peggy. We were talking about Bob Saget last week. We yeah, didn't have Bob Saget. Yeah, we weird. didn't have Bob, Bob Saget. Saget. We, we were talking. You done. you didn't hear it, Susan, but one of the groups was talking about how filthy of a comedian he is. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, somebody Bob really told that. Yes, that's why I talked filthy. about it. Oh God, have you not heard on the it? internet? I posted it. I heard it. You were, you were. Oh in my your God! Room. Like, in like hit, like Bob Saget from Full House and Funniest Home mm-hmm. Videos is a like ostensibly different person from Bob yeah. Saget the comic. Oh yeah, like, yeah. they are totally night and day. Yeah. Were you seriously talking about that in your group last week, or you just playing? No, we were. They were. I went oh to the group God, and I heard the discussion. It. Sorry, Ricky. <laughs> yeah, we killed. Oh no. At, at some point, in the, at some point in the conversation, did anyone say, "Well, there's no chance that he'll die. He's relatively young." No, no, no nobody said that. Up. But so. he didn't tell the filthiest version of the aristocrats. Phyllis it's pretty good. Like Gilbert but Godfrey. she's been dead like twenty years. Gilbert, Godfrey, I would say. Yeah. Gilbert Godfrey's yeah. got the best one. Yeah, it's no. He talks long. about how Phyllis Diller has the worst version of the joke in the film. He like. They said Phyllis Diller is the one that tells the raunchiest version of that joke. I don't even know what you guys that are talking about. Kill, so, don't know that want to so a family who's walks into a town killing them off? a mom, dad, a son, a daughter, and their dog. <laughs> and that's how the joke starts. And then you take it from wherever you want to take it from there. <laughs> they talk about their acts, and then you describe it. But I'm not going to tell you what some of the things that they say. Well, we know it's it. probably weird. makes Jeffrey Epstein. That's watch. old. But- I'm making. <laughs> Romero and uh, Faith, I'm making you my helper tonight. Okay. Nope. I probably Gilbert may Godfrey. go to bed early, so. Well, Romero is our helper tonight. <laughs> okay. Gilbert Godfrey's version is like 10 minutes long. I, I bought a, a MP3 of it. Really? It. Yeah, he did it uh, just after 9-11. Okay. <clears throat> she looks like she's so far away. Oh. Hi, Jane. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi. It's good to have you back. Thank you. And Kelly's here. Wow, we are really, look at this. We're rocking. We've got some people we haven't seen in a while. I have no students tomorrow, so I don't need to be awake. Wow. I know that voice. Right. <clears throat> How can we so far away, Kelly? I mean, I know you live in the East Coast, but <laughs> you're like really small. My, my He's in Rhode is Island. Blind, so I can't get the computer like anywhere closer to me so you guys are just over there <laughs> i'm in my tardis you're in your tardis are you ready for the storm kelly as is ben, ben. ben's in his tardis kelly yeah, this is about a storm you guys having another storm? oh we're getting we just fucking ice on sunday <laughs> did you just have ice. one i mean what is it with you no people? we had just have to last all of it? that didn't stick Today, or the past couple of weeks, the forecast models, they were saying snow, but as it keeps getting closer, they're basically telling us freezing rain and ice and power outages. But our power lines are buried under the ground, so. I'm going to be honest, I only pay attention to the weather when the snow might fall on a school day. Nice. <laughs> well, we have Monday off, so. We do too. So I haven't really been like keeping up with it because I was like, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm staying home. Yeah. Everybody keeps asking, do we have to go to work on Monday or Tuesday? And I'm just like, well, I don't have internet, so I can't drive in, even though they put salt brine down on the roads. It's too hazardous for me to come in. I know that you said this before, but I forgot where do you live? Raleigh, North Carolina. And we're okay. on the the where we are in our state, we're basically on that line that if they say it calls for snow, the odds of it being snow or ice or being nothing is, we're like kind of right on that moisture barrier. Okay. So. 
we, yeah. we should have uh, we should have a uh, uh, <coughs> oh it, it probably wouldn't be a uh, like our regular kind of thing but uh, uh, we should predict what's going to happen in 2022 just like all the uh, what are they called uh, frauds <laughs> yeah <laughs> Frauds. Maybe right. we could approach the Saunders number. Uh, oh, that would be interesting. We probably could do better. Didn't, oh, didn't I know. We could. I think wasn't it thirty percent? What's that? Eleven. No, but uh, when he had people actually making predictions in two thousand seventeen. Ah, uh, when we did it, yes, it was closer to thirty percent. I think. Yeah, it's the it's whatever you're doing it for. Um, so if we talk about. Um, a politician, Jason Kenney, will he die? I don't know who that is. I don't no, think you so. You have to like them to kill them. Oh, is that the way the magic works? Yeah. Gosh, I feel so bad for it's, Richard Gervais. Yeah. <laughs> oh, He's oh dead now, God. man. Oh, 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 what's his face? It's got COVID. Um, bad. Um, oh. Right ring. Uh, back, back. Mitch right McConnell? Back. What's his first name? Glenn, Glenn Beck. Beck. He's having problems with, it's getting into his lungs, he says, and he's coughing. I listened to the interview. He was like, oh, it'll be all right. <laughs> I'm going to be did fine. He, did he not get back? Oh, no. He had he had COVID before, and oh, no. Uh -uh. Well, I, I remember Trump when he uh, got out of the hospital, and he's standing on the steps, and he's going, oh, yeah. That would have been a hard thing for him to walk up the stairs and oh, yeah, he was time. Tall. <laughs> just without COVID, that would have been bad for him. Did you see him going on the news? I'm just shocked. He's like, Oh yeah, you gotta get vaccinated. That's the only thing it's not saving people's lives. It's like yeah, he finally realized that his people his are face dying. Is dying. <laughs> but he still yeah. opposed the mandate. But it's He's not trying working. to say that he brought in all the vaccines it was up he's the one who made safe lives they did it happened it it's yeah. not working because if, 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 if it was my dad's parents would have gotten their booster shot well no but they booed him yeah, yeah. Booed but it's oh. but i think it's going to have an effect if anything it's going to split them even further and that's what has to happen is he's have to keep getting into splits he's been saying get vaccinated for quite a while now Mm -hmm. It's becoming more and more vocal about it. Yeah. People are because I'll see on these uh, QAnon threads, they're like, "He didn't say that. No way. That was dubbed in or whatever." And then right. a week or two later, it comes out with something else. It's getting really hard for them to. Yeah, it's getting hard for them to. To to. It's deep state. It's yeah. fake news. Photoshop. Susan, you stuff. know how easy it is for people to ignore reality. Well, mm -hmm. true. Okay, so uh, let me find you guys up into little teenies. Teamy team teams. Teamy team teams. Little, little teams. I, I don't know how long I'm going to last in case that has any bearing on your decisions. Okay, yes, ma'am. And I always. Four or five teams. Leave early. Well, you can go back in time right. in your TARDIS. Okay, you so we've got Jeff is going to be going up first. Yeah, what order are we going in? Jeff is first. Let me just put him in his room. How high are you going to be going up, Jeff? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm? Carl second. <laughs> um, Robert from prison there is third. Ooh, Alcohol in plastic bottle. And then I need to put somebody in this last room. And then Ben, you're fourth. I'm last. And then Karen's, uh, Karen's doing bonus. My category might spoil by then, but you know. I mean, There's Karen. Karen will be here. She sent me her, she, she uh, told me she'd be here. Okay, so let me make sure. So I've got this out, I need to. Is anybody else coming late or is this gonna be? Really oh yeah, there'll be, there'll be people late. Adrian's gonna be here late. Deborah's not here yet. Caspian's not here, so we won't see him for he's very long. Traveling time. some mysterious destination. He's he's in a naval. He's in a military base somewhere. Yeah. Um, Undisclosed. Probably the one with the reverse engineered uh, alien tech. That that that's makes. Why, sense. That's why he couldn't talk about it. Oh, those are the best. Mm -hmm. 
Joe. Isn't that all of them? <laughs> Don't be silly, Leonard. So I finished Witcher Only season most. two and Wheel of Time. So I'm getting caught up on all my shows I've been watching. Everybody has. You guys what was better the first hurry one? up and start watching. Uh, uh, Witcher season two. Listening to the. I haven't uh, seen either of those. Project Hail Mary, because I'm gonna start spoiling it really soon. <laughs> Yeah, the movie's going to come out. Soon. I'm getting tired of hiding the. the is uh, is there is the movie almost done? No, I'm kidding. He's, he's they done. they did announce production, including the star. I don't, which I don't remember who it was, but yes, but no, yeah, I'm, probably I'm really looking for, probably a year or so off at least. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. That it was, uh, yeah, yeah. it it, it Hope they it's constructed it so that it could be a, a good movie. Yeah, be interesting to see how the imagination of the director and and visual effects people match yeah. what uh, I yeah. conjured in my mind. Yes. Exactly. Has anybody joined the last few minutes? It'll be Muppet. <laughs> Just be mad. You've got oh. this that right. Yeah. Okay, this looks good. Hmm. I better go. So they have something called Irish spotted dick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what spotted dick is? It's cheese, in? isn't it? No. Yeah, spotted dick is cheese. No, it's not. In Britain. It's not cheese. There's no cheese in it at all. It's a bread. It's bread. Food. It's bread. Oh, I guess they have cheese with the spotted dick. They might, but it it looks more like fruit cake with suet in it. Ooh, it doesn't sound very attractive. It's suet pudding. Oh, it's like a plum pudding. Yeah, the spotted refers to the currants. Isn't that what mince meat is? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> That's actually very good. To be honest. Yeah. Well, minced meat, I think, is is other dried fruits too. Well, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. But there is suet it too. My grandfather liked that. <laughs> what does she want? She messed with me if I was still awake. <laughs> What it's uh, six fifty where it's you are? Nine, no, no, it's nine fifty where I'm at. No, it's six fifty. Oh, you're so you're okay. Yeah, on East Coast time. Okay, this I'm in be, uh, Mountain time. Yes, this could be. I'm having computer trouble and I need your help with something, or there's some shit going down at the office tomorrow that I need you to know about. <laughs> <laughs> Like we've had a COVID exposure, nobody is allowed to go in. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised that uh, that what's going on right now is there's so many people getting COVID uh, that uh, ambulances in in some provinces up here uh, they don't have any running. Yeah, we've had. Um... Here and our the governor of our state has allowed state employees, which I am technically considered one. I can use my community service leave to drive school buses, uh, be a substitute teacher. Ooh, really? Or, uh, a school bus driver? Cafeteria. Well, they don't have enough school bus drivers because of the, everybody's gotten COVID. So when can you I, drive a school bus? Uh, they will train me and pay me for the training to learn how to do these things, which by law before was illegal for them to do, but they've done an executive order that if I want to take the training to be a substitute teacher, I can do that. Interesting. But I'm just like, pay people more. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised up here that the government hasn't said, okay, uh, send out soldiers and they can drive the ambulances just like they did back, back in the 1950s. They didn't have a clue uh, what to do with you, but they could get you to a hospital. 
we could do something like that, but the governors would have to enact it in each state because it's a violation of the constitution. Aren't they starting to drop the, the COVID um, isn't starting to help? I mean- Yeah, it's five days instead of 10. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I mean, I thought the rates are starting to drop. Not in Canada. Oh, already? That's what I, they said I, I they're starting know. to wane a little bit. And so that by the time they got well, everybody good. trained for these things, they'd already be out of their, you know, they wouldn't be needing them anymore, I guess. It's possible. That's what I heard. Well, I'm in California, so we're having different, we're not having, it's not like it is there, not even close. It's like a different world. I, I'd hate to have a heart attack right now. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely stay safe right now because- Well, that's uh, what everybody's saying is don't go to the emergency. Don't do anything that's gonna make you wind up in the emergency. Yeah, don't climb on any ladders. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, don't yeah, don't the put the bottom of the water yeah. into shit. Yeah, but they're still doing elective surgical procedures here. Yeah, um, we are too. We're not full. Oh no, not not where I'm at. Yeah, our our hospital system has put the kibosh on elective procedures. Mm -hmm. So what's an elective procedure, though? I mean, it you could know, be anything. It could be oh. getting a cortisone shot. It could be <laughs> replace yeah. your heart. So. Anything that's not it could be having a joint replacement. It could be it having a um, heart transplant, something like that. Yeah, well, well, a heart transplant is likely to be not all that elective. Yeah, right. that's <laughs> likely. We you may need it to save your life. Yeah. yeah. Did, uh -huh. did you hear that they've uh, been able to uh, put a pig's heart into somebody? Did you yes, read, they, they did have you done read it? the Washington Post on that today? The guy was a, the guy who got the thing that was actually somebody who stabbed somebody years ago and and ruined a family's life. Did you read that in the Washington Post? Wait, did what? The, the guy who got, got the pig, pig transplant, the guy who who got the plant transplant, he actually uh, years and years ago he went into a bar and he saw his wife on the knee of somebody else that he some guy he'd gone to high school with and he stabbed him six times and the guy ended up in a wheelchair and okay. his life was ruined he died early um, another the guy who was the cousin of the person stabbed was also the person who dropped him off at the bar and was the paramedic who who was the first to respond and his life was ruined he ended up he ended up killing himself on opioids and uh, they, the family sued the man who did the stabbing for um, a couple million dollars, and he never paid a, a dime to them. And, In other uh, words, if the transplant doesn't work, it's no big loss. It was a pig after all, anyway. So. He was a pig. Well, anyway, so he has this huge history. So the family of this guy he stabbed is, is furious because people keep calling this guy a hero. And, and there's no, and he's all over the media, but their brother that died in a wheelchair early. Oh, oh young, shit. So, uh, yes, fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes, sorry. They're transitioning everybody back to my office to telework permanently tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I have to ask you a question. Yeah, Kyle, about how do you this. feel about that? Yeah. <laughs> I feel happy about that. Wait, wait. So if they transition them back, I have to show up at the office at 8.30 tomorrow to sign paperwork so that our newest hire that we've had can get everything she needs to be able to go home tomorrow at 9.30 to go work from home. So I was thinking, why is she telling me I can go home after all this when I'm supposed to be there all day? And I was like, wait, you're transitioning everybody back home. I guess that means Omicron is really, really fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe there is ample evidence to support that contention. Yeah. You wouldn't know that. The Midwest. Hey, Susan. Uh-huh. Uh, so the guy that got the pig's heart, yes. he eats bacon. Is he a cannibal? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I eat cannibals. Dun, 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 dun. But anyway, so it's, so, the, so it's just, you know, drama. The hospitals are like, we're out of this. We don't have anything to do with it. The guy, I think, only served six years in prison. And he will never, and he's never spoken to it, his son about it. His son knows, and he says, my dad has never mentioned it to me. We don't, we don't talk about it. I mean, he had like a two million, a million and a half or something like that settlement. The court settled and said, you got to pay this guy you stabbed 
who lived his life in a wheelchair. Who's this? The guy who had the pig uh, transplant. Oh, he, yeah. He had oh. stabbed somebody uh, when he was like in his 20s at a bar and mm -hmm. um, ruined the guy's life. Ruined well, the family. The settlement, the settlement uh, could have been $2 billion and it wouldn't matter because the guy obviously wasn't very rich. So, <laughs> right. Well, but he he's lived a life and he never paid. He didn't, they had, the family was just, didn't have the income or insurance to pay for everything. So the guy lived in so the, a wheelchair and I don't think it was like a high quality thing. Money. Huh? The family that sued him wasted money. Well, they, I mean, they don't, they don't seriously, waste money. Unless you can get a lawyer to do it uh, it's, for free. Well, on a contingency. On a contingency. So they never got, they, so there was never any, the guy went to prison for six years. The other guy ended up in a wheelchair for the, all of his life and died, died early and miserable. And then the other family member just lost it. He didn't do well after that either for reasons he says had to do with it. So I don't know. I'm just saying, I just read that today. And I was like, what? I think what? though you could look at this guy's acceptance of this procedure which is pretty new and crazy as if as a good thing for mankind he's he's yes. offering himself up absolutely to do this thing and god bless him for that maybe he's trying to make amends well he said that or maybe they picked him because it's no big loss if, if it doesn't work yeah well, they, said that, uh, they said if he didn't get this he would be dead because there was no other option they said yeah, in the it was past, not a not a good candidate for a he said he plan. hadn't yeah, in the past, he wouldn't stand his medications. He didn't go see the doctor regularly. So all the other options that had been preceding it were, were voted out. They said you don't, you're not a candidate because you're not, you're not cooperating with, um, with mm -hmm. medical staff. They're going to tie compliant. you down and give you a heart from an animal. <laughs> so, so they said you get the pig heart or you don't get anything. But he agreed to it, right? Yeah, of course he did. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, and and clearly he's a you know highly qualified. Um, medical has great medical knowledge, yeah. so the informed consent is uh, yeah. truly meaningful. <laughs> yeah. Well, they Sounds said like you get it or you die, and you uh, might still die. Is he? Is he? But he's still alive, right? Yeah. He, Just well, got I mean, out of surgery, he, I think, isn't he? Yeah, is he like Jewish? A, it's a day or two. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't eat the heart. He, he probably, he he probably did his own research. <laughs> that's his sentence for what he did you know De depending on what sect of judaism you belong to uh that procedure would be perfectly fine is that right what about, what yeah. about Islam? would there be some where it wouldn't yes yeah you're not there are there, there are some completely wacko groups <coughs> like giving um, it to a house heart right i'm so surprised <laughs> All right, so let's do our team names because we are at that point. So James, Janine, Jeff, uh, is Julie there? Oh, no, Jeff. she is not. Okay. Um, she's been. She actually has been really busy, busy lately, so she's she's catching up on some work. Okay, Saunders. What's your team name? We are the Provax Oath Keepers from Washington. That's right. Oh, that's so sweet. Can you say that back to us, Susan? The Provax Oath Keepers from Washington. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but, but Richard Saunders is not from Washington. I hey, that'll do. I think he's Provax, though. He, he's an honorary Washingtonian. That's right. That'll, that'll do. Oh, Versus that's Janine and Jeff. And I'm married to a Washingtonian. <laughs> I was pretty close. Okay. Bob, Carl, Larry. Romero and Faith. Change your name so that we remember Faith here too. For the time she's here. Let's go, Darwin. <laughs> Let's go, Darwin. Let's go, Darwin. Kelly, Paula, Rob, Vincent. The unverified Venezuelan ventriloquists. <laughs> so we want you to say that back. Unverified Venezuelan ventriloquists. Mm. Nice job. Oh, oh boy, I get such boy, the things that make you happy. 
Well done, ma'am. Well done. I'm so glad that you guys have such high respect for me, my pronunciation skills. Okay. <laughs> Anybody watching this would be like, okay, how does that lady put up with these people all every week? Uh, I don't know. It is a mystery. It's affection. I have great affection for you. Because we're better than the people attacking you at Wikipedia. Ooh. <laughs> ben, Jane, Leonard, Deborah. What's up, Maureen? Who's Maureen? Oh. Right? Is that the is that the no, that's not the right name. Who's Maureen? I don't get it. Is that something? Brand, it's that? Brandon's sister. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> We need to let Deborah explain. Yeah, Deborah, where are you? Deborah's muted. Yeah. Well, my internet was being flaky, so I disappeared for a little while. Um, yeah, um, Fauci didn't say uh, uh, he's a moron or what a moron. What, what a moron. He said, What's up, Maureen? Oh, I see. <laughs> and then he said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Heard that. He might have. <laughs> yeah, he said. He said. He said. What so is that Rand Rand Paul guy a complete whack job? Because I saw oh, yeah. the video. Them. Oh yeah. Complete. I'm on his mailing list, and every <clears throat> other day I get an email from him. It's this has been for months attacking Fauci and anything about vaccines or masks. And he's Isn't a medical he a doctor? doctor. Yeah. Yeah. He's an ophthalmologist. You're on his list, Rob. They, they may mass write this. Uh, my state senator pulls the same shit. But he's going to, my state senator claims he's going to be silenced and canceled and censored. And so keep all the copies of these messages so you know what to do. To well, at least he won't be on TV. Mm, maybe yeah. mine made national head headlines. Brian Boquist. He won't be running That's a year ago. Yeah. Okay, um, the last group, which isn't really last, but it's just the last on my list. Kevin, Lori, Peggy, and Sundap Karen. We are oh. psychiccelebritykillers.com. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you buy the URL? We looked, Ooh. I looked to see if it was available. Sorry, <laughs> Chad. Oh, that we can do it. We you can predict do it. somebody will buy it. If you want to buy it, you can't. Oh, that's hilarious. So it is available? Yes. Yeah. We yeah. predict somebody will buy it when this hits YouTube. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, that's great. All right. So here we are. Oh, I'm eating popcorn. Sorry. January 13th, in the year of our Lord 2022. Oh. <laughs> hey, just to piss Lord. off Rob. Yeah. Our Lord. So we are at game 89. Can you believe it's hard to believe? Season two, episode 32. Am I correct, Carl? <laughs> yep. And we That's have good. five teams that are going to duke it out. Five teams that are going to duke it out for the social trivia by Susan T um, game. They think they all, every one of them thinks they got it. They think they got the great team. They think they're ready. They think they're willing and they think they're <laughs> going to do this. That's going to be a big deal. And you can look at each other and say, yep, we got it. We got it. But the thing is, you and I do not know what the categories are. They could be amazing categories that you will fly through and get perfect tens. Or they may be something you've never even heard of and you are in bad shape. We don't know because we're not psychic and neither are they. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the five teams tonight that are playing for the for the bragging <coughs> right for the week are the Pro Max Oath Keepers from Washington versus Let's Go Darwin versus Unverified Venezuelan Ventriloquists versus What's Up Marine versus PsychicCelebrityKillers.com. Check that out. Check that out on YouTube and subscribe. Who will be the winner tonight? We will find out soon. Soon enough. No psychics predicted the ending of this. All right. So up first, we're going to have five rounds. The first round is Jeff. After that is Carl. After that is Rob. And after that is Ben. And then we're going to have Karen, who hasn't arrived yet, but I know she's going to be here. So we have a few other people who are going to be joining us pretty soon. So keep that into your strategy after the first round. How do you score it? Um, I know Adrian's going to be over here and possibly somebody else. So let's see how we do. 
remember that if you make your categories Susan Susan focused, where Susan should know the answers, you know <laughs> you will always have somebody on your team who is going to do really well. But you don't. <laughs> you guys, every week, you do whatever you can to make it as difficult as possible for Susan, knowing fully well that I will be on your team. I don't understand the strategy here. Susan, I did Wikipedia, and your team was the lowest score. Just saying. <laughs> those, were the questions. those weren't questions I would know anything about. Just, if there's numbers with zeros and commas in there somewhere, I'm already lost, all right? So numbers mm -hmm. are not my friend. Well, all right. Just say uh, it. Keep that in mind. So, so first up. all of that, of course, uh, that, that's a really great introduction to uh, my category, which, uh, of course, is round one, uh, Japan, by my estimate, which is uh, estimate the following statistics about Japan. All ranges right there my list. <laughs> at least 10% of wiggle room around the correct answer, at least, with the exception of question six, which will be obvious why when you see it. Um, for any answers that are asking for a specific year, the 10% is based off of how many years prior to 2022 it is. So in other words, if I say it is plus or minus uh, 100 years, that means that it is no more than 1,000 years before 2022. Um, so uh, so I'm giving you plenty of wiggle room. Wait, 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 wait. You said something wrong there. You said no more than, a th uh, no. As in, the, <laughs> if I say this is a date that happened and I'm giving you wiggle room of plus or minus 100 years, that means that it has happened within the last thousand years. So you should be able to pick a, an effective range. So even or if you guessed all of them 100% naively, you should be able to get two out of 10. See, it had numbers and words now, together associated me. together in that. Right over ahead. Did you see it just goes zooming across and fell into the abyss by me? Hey, hey, Jeff, can you put that in a chat so we can? I did. You did. Okay, great. Yes, yeah, having yeah. zeros that gets me. <laughs> so the category is called Japan by my estimate. Okay. Okay. So uh, Romero, do you want to do your duty? Muting everyone. Three, two, one. All right, question one. What's the current population of Japan? Plus or minus 25%. So you have a pretty large range. Um, get it within 25% of the actual value. And I will say that most sources agree on this, but the precise number I pulled specifically from worldometer.info. Question number two, what percentage of their population lives within the greater Tokyo area as according to the United Nations as of 2016? I will just state that the total population of Japan has not changed by more than 0.5% compared to question one. So like, in other words, consider them about the same um, in terms of like total population in 2016 is about equivalent to the total population now. But what percentage of that population lives in the to greater Tokyo metro area? So Tokyo is famous for having the world's busiest train station, uh, Shinjuku Station, which has 36 platforms above uh, or and above an underground shopping and dining and more than 200 exits and entrances. How many people pass through the station each day? And this is according to the Guinness Book of World Records. And I tried to find a lot of other sources. And it, it's hard because a lot of them are written in Japanese. But, um, but I tried hard in order to get the number pretty as, as verified as I could. This is plus or minus 50% of the actual value. Does that include me? Because I did that. So 50% plus or minus one for me. That was like a different world. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Number three, or sorry, number four, did I? Well, I guess I have a bonus question then because I misnumbered. 
Um, one second, while I just correct my numbering. Okay, number four. The Japanese company YKK is the producer of the largest market share of zippers in the world. There have been multiple articles about it in a lot of different settings because it's notable just how much of the market share they had. Um, by total market uh, volume. And they like, and for until like a couple of years ago, it was the, they were the biggest supplier of zippers anywhere. Uh, by estimate, what percentage of the market did they actually control based off of an economist estimate at the end of 2018? This is plus or minus 10%. Number five, Japan is also famous for having the highest number of vending machines or the highest vending machine density, in other words, vending machines per person uh, in the world. Uh, what percentage of them are beverage vending machines? And I'm giving you plus or minus 20 on the percentage. So in other words, if the actual percentage is, let's say uh, 120%, because that would be impossible, um, it, the ranges would be between 100 and 140% would all be valid. Number six, Japan boasts the oldest continuing, continuously running business, Kongo Gumi, which uh, they are a builder of shrines and temples. When was it founded? Plus or minus two hundred years. Number seven, what is the average life expectancy in Japan as of 2020, as they're regularly one of the top five in the world, and notably so? Plus or minus five years. No, I'll say this is averaged male and female together oh. based off of their population, relative population densities, which it's about 51%, 49%. So like, it really doesn't make too much of a difference if you just took two numbers and average them together. Number eight, according to a paper published in Frontiers in Earth Science in January 2020 about cataloging active volcano information for future trends, how many active volcanoes are there in Japan? Plus or minus 20. Number nine, the snowiest major city, as in greater than 100,000 residents in the world, is uh, Aomori, Japan, boasting more than 50% more inches of snow than the next snowiest, due to being located atop the highest point in the Hakoda mountain region. How many inches of yearly snowfall do they get? Plus or minus 60 inches or five feet of snow. Number 10, uh, if you really are a foodie, you might know about the Michelin Guide, uh, where three stars is the highest rating denoting a restaurant that's worth making a dedicated trip specifically to eat there, as opposed to the less worthwhile two stars, which means it's only worth a detour. Um, in 2021, there were 132 restaurants that were awarded the coveted three star rating, with Japan tying France and Monaco for the first time for the no highest number of three-star restaurants. How many three-star restaurants are in Japan? Plus or minus 10. And a bonus for those of us who aren't foodies, 
Um, the first modern instant ramen called chicken ramen, no joke, uh, was developed by uh, Momofuku Ando in what year? Plus or minus 10. And that's it. <clears throat> All right. All Chicken right. ramen is a is a, a team name. <laughs> I'm everybody. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Wait. Faith and Romero disappeared. Oh. Didn't they? Yeah, they're inviting us to to the breakout rooms. They open the breakout rooms. Well, it says Faith and Romero are not assigned. Let's see. I have Faith and Romero's inviting us to join room one. They're in room two. That's odd. You guys got an assigned. Okay, I'm going to go to room one. Uh, hello, team. Right. Uh, hello, team. Hello, Susan. I take it it's a bit chilly where you are, Susan. I'm always cold. Doesn't matter. It could be 75. It could be one of the hottest days of the year, and I'd probably still be bundled up like this. So you won't be moving any to the Pacific Northwest anytime soon. Oh, I love the Northwest. It's so amazing. I absolutely adore it. No, because oh. you could bundle up over there and it's fine. Yeah. I'm like Richard. Richard and I have the same thing in common. We do not like the heat. Nope. Mm. No, I would. <coughs> I would. I would I mean, one of the best places I've been in the last few years to be in, for me personally, is Bend, Oregon. Winter and summer. I love it both, there. It's a little too dry for me there. That suits me very much because... The humidity does not suit me. Anyway, okay, here we go. I loved Cordalis. <clears throat> that is so nice over there. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Susan? How many people live in Japan? Um, over Probably. 12. Yeah, there are more than 12 people. I agree. Okay, so there we go. Um, is it a million five? No. Oh, much more than that. Um, no, 15 million five? More of, no, than 15. I'm looking, I'm comparing it in GDP. California has a greater GDP than uh, Japan. So I'm thinking that might be, uh, populations might be similar. What's the population of California? 38 million. Is that what we are? I think, I think there's a lot of people in Japan. I'm, I'm willing to go to 75 or 100 million. That's mm -hmm. a lot of people. There's a lot of people in Japan. There are a lot of Japanese. I mean, it's a little tiny place. That's I right. know they're packed in, but 100 million? Yeah. Well, the, the, the leeway, here, how much leeway? We've got... Um, how many is in New York? 25% leeway. How many is in New York City? Uh, 14 million. Is that about the same, <laughs> same uh, size of <laughs> land? No. Oh, no, Japan's no. It's much bigger. Yeah. I'm with okay. Richard. I like Richard's answer. 25% oh, million? It's not, it's not a huge country, but it's not a bit small. You wouldn't call Japan a tiny country. You know, it's got two yeah. big islands and a bit more. And big cities, huge cities with, great, with huge populations. <laughs> uh, I don't know fine. the answer, but I'm willing to put 100 million. Okay. Right. So let's, let's, let's do uh, 75 because that will give us 25%. All right. That sounds okay. 75 it is. Okay, Greater Tokyo area, I understand, is huge. Yeah. Um, uh, and Lusher, Lusher is also huge. They want some percentage, the percent, the total population, or what percentage of the total population lives of in the total Tokyo. population lives in Tokyo? I'm thinking there's probably about maybe 20 million in Tokyo area. 25%? 25 is not a bad answer because we've got a bit of leeway. So it'd be, yeah, yeah, 25%, yeah. I mean, we're kind of... Because we've got uh, we've got a 25% margin yeah. of error. So, right. All right, I'll put 25. Three. <clears throat> I, I calculated that. I figured 200 people per train. 36 uh, trains per hour times 24 would be uh, 200,000. So I'm thinking about a million people per day. It could be. 
That would be five trades per hour average uh, per track. I mean, I'm willing to go that. Million? I'm willing. I'm willing to put a yeah. million. One yep. million sounds yep. good. Yeah. All right. Next one. Four. Company. Oh, oh that's a zipper. Yeah. I oh, know okay. the. I know this company because if you sew. All the zippers are YKK zippers. They right. are. But you That's buy. absolutely right. Yep. I'm going to say probably 80%. <coughs> That's what I was thinking when he said it was 80% or something. Yeah. I'm, I, I've I, seen that too on, on just about whenever I've looked at a zipper. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything. Even the, you know, uh, European fabrics. All right. Oh, yeah. I have a New Zealand. 80% is a good answer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Swedish sweater, uh, YKK. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Five. Uh, five. Having the highest bending machine. Oh, yeah, lots. Over 50. What percentage of On them the are? Well, they buy everything. Then they they, so they have vending just... machines for everything. Yeah. So maybe it's under fifty. I I came up with the number forty because plus or minus twenty would give us twenty to sixty. All right. Well, if they put everything into vending machines, then just go like what percentage of what you go get to eat is a drink. Well. Not forty percent. They buy more well, than just food. They that's right. I mean, like, vending machines have have every, uh, lots of just products. Right. Just yeah. Things stuff. So I'm thinking more like thirty. Okay. All right. Can... Thirty. Yep. That'd be a lot of stuff to, to put in machines. Ten to uh, fifty. Such. So okay. Six. Japan boasts the oldest continually flooding business. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Oh my goodness me! When was it founded? Mm -hmm. No idea. I just kind of spitballed at twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. That sounds good. To AD. Me. You yeah. have to clarify that one. Because I mean, it's it was... different, different in Japan. They use a different system for years. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's what. Isn't life expectancy outcome. really high, like eighty-one or something? Yeah, yeah, it's quite high. Yep. The U.S. Uh, is eighty-two. I'm thinking they're around eighty-nine. I thought U.S. was uh, in still in the high seventies. We went down. We've gone down with COVID. Life expectancies decline. Oh. COVID. Right. Can you believe it? So yeah. I would just I know let's put thing. let's put twelve hundred. Um, seven. This is plus or minus five years, which is really unusual. I'm oh, sorry, we're on seven. Yeah, um, we are on seven. Uh, that's a huge span. If, so if you're saying fifty, I mean. 81. 80, with 85. Yeah, I, think 80, yeah, I agree. 85. 85. All right. That gives 90 to 80 yeah. to 90. It can't be 90. <laughs> yeah, it could. There is a one country that has 91. Uh, I think no, I really? Yeah. I think so. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, how would you have to go? There okay. you can. There'd be quite a lot because it's on the rim of fire. Something. They have to be active. It's like I don't think we count Mount Hood and Mount Adams as active. They're they're, they they're uh, dormant, but they're not. They no longer use the term extinct. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Dormant, but there's extinct, dormant, and active. Then, and he is asking for active. Active, which means they're uh, they're spewing. Yeah, they, or are on the edge. But oh, there's smoke coming out or something. Right, yeah. So, there could be many. There could be, I just don't know. So we say yeah. 20. But that um, would give us zero to plus or minus 20. Would that give us zero to 40? It's not zero. Right. So we probably should go. Oh, higher. I see. You're right. Yeah, no, yeah. I, 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 I see the plus or minus now. Zero. Uh, yeah, so 20. Uh, so 40. 40. 40. 40. All right. Give us 20 to 60. There's at least 20, you think, right? 
I, I would think so. Uh, or go maybe 38 or something so that we can get into the teens, 17, 18. It's one's as good as another because we don't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nine. Um, the uh, Tahoe region uh, will get a uh, good 480 inches of uh, snow a year. How much? 480. That's 40 feet of snow. Okay. Per year. Uh, I'm using that as a uh, like a. Uh, <coughs> okay. Baseline. So annual snowfall. Yeah, I was thinking of the Truckee region too, but I don't know why because we have mountains. Um, we have a unique uh, issue here with the orographic lift that creates a tremendous amount of snow. But uh, Japan also has a lot of snow because they are, that's both high elevation and they are on the water. Right, yeah. So they that's have what I'm to saying. have the I'm same... using that 480 is kind of like a benchmark for us to go from. Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah. So, um... What does, uh, what does uh, some of our mountains get? How high is the city? Hmm. How many inches? I don't know much about snow levels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not? It says boasting more than 50% more snow inches of snow than the next snowiest big city. Due to be located on top of the highest point in the Hakata Mountains, Hakata, Hakoda, plus minus 60 inches. That just tells us that the city is high elevation and it's right. by high moisture area that blows off of the Pacific. Yeah. So um, it's almost like you could think in terms of how much snow does a certain elevation in the Cascades get? Right. Should we go like more than, the, you know, like 520 inches, which is more than Tahoe mountaintops get? All right. Uh, but they don't have big cities there. So I'm just. No, I'm happy with that because and, I don't know. <laughs> because 50% <coughs> increase. Over the next, over that number two city would still yeah. be a large number amount of snow. What, what, to, what did you say Truckee got? 480 inches of snow a year. No, that was Tahoe. Truckee's in next to Tahoe. Oh. Truckee, Tahoe. Yeah. yeah. The Truckee River. I've been on the Truckee River. I've mm -hmm. swam in the Truckee River. Yeah. And you, you. It's cold. <laughs> it was cold. I bet. Oh, boy. I bet it's cold year round. <laughs> Isn't Truckee the coldest yeah. uh, city in California? So just the coldest uh, city has the coldest recorded temperature in the 48 states. Oh, geez. What was that, talk? Uh, oh, so like, uh, just a reminder. For, for that particular one, I mentioned what the what the uh, what require what requirements you have to meet for you to qualify. Um, so just you know, just pulling that out there. Um, oh, and there's a correction, which is uh, number nine. Point. Are you talking That's about? Huh? Were you talking about nine? Yeah, number nine. There's qualifications. Yeah, like I don't. I've never heard of this place next to Tahoe. So, uh, and I'm guessing it's probably, it doesn't match the requirement. Oh, no, no, no. Turkey is not a major city. No, no, no. we were just using it as a it's guide. A, it's a little sure. town up by, by well, Lake Tahoe. Sounds good. California. Mm -hmm. I was just making sure that wasn't confusion there. Um, yeah. uh, the other thing is that my exception to the 10% rule is obviously not question six, it's question seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. For obvious reasons. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Just wanted to make sure that that was understand clear. So anyway, but continue. Okay. okay. All right, so Four where are ten. we at? <clears throat> Number 10. Yeah. Um, they're, they're tied with, uh, the, Japan is tied with uh, those two others, France and Monaco, for the number three star city, so it's going to be less than forty. We know that much because okay, there's that. a total of one hundred thirty-two. 
Uh-huh. No, 132 in total. Hmm. 132 restaurants were awarded the coveted three stars with Japan tying with France and Monaco for the highest number of three star restaurants. So it could so those, be 20, 20, and 20, and then the rest are dispersed with right. the other countries. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying we know it's less than 40. Okay. Oh, and what's that plus or minus 10? So 30? 30? Yeah. All right. Bonus. Like the first That'd be 30, 42, 40 to 20. What did you say? 30. 30. 30. That's. Not bad. I don't know when the chicken ramen was the fellow. Nineteen eighty-two, nineteen ninety. Yeah, it seems like the seventies and the eighties would be the years that they would have ramen. Would be like, well, popular. I will go with it whatever. Was be- it was before the eighties because I was What's in it? college, and that's all you ate. Oh, uh, ramen. So- Ramen. Hmm, 1975. I'm just guessing it's it's more recent, you know, than, than some old dish or. Well, if you this guys, is the uh, first modern instant rama. Yeah. So when do you think <clears throat> ramen came out instant as an ramen. instant thing? It was a thing in the around the 80s, or first I remember thinking of it. But that's because that was when I was in grad school and that's your mandatory grad school meal. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, you well, that's all I ate for five plus years. Plus or minus, plus or minus um, 10 years. So, so we could go... 1975 is the reasonable guess. So going 65 to yeah. 75? 75. Okay, I like 75. that. 75. That's Just good. as a guess. Good. That's a good guess. Mm-hmm. All right, great job, you guys. Yeah. I like your prayer shawl there, Susan. Aw. <laughs> if you get a better category, I might know something about it. Make, <laughs> make people proud. Well, we don't want to do too well or we won't get Adrian when she comes. <laughs> when she comes. Dun, 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 when she comes. All right, so I'm going back. Okay, see you there. Bye, guys. We'll go back. All right. I'll see. We'll. You're muted, Susan. Oh, I can only hear myself. So I wasn't really muted. I said, where'd everybody go? Does Mark know what mountain that is behind me? No, I don't think so. He just oh. said it was a mountain. I don't know if he could have saw, seen it that well. Are you? I thought you were in Sacramento area. Why do I? I am. Well, then why are they telling me you're in Washington? Uh, I spend a lot of time up there. Well, normally I spend a lot of time up there, and I'm spending more and more time up there. You might move up there. That is in the thought process, but there's a lot holding me here and there's a lot dragging me there. How about Oregon? That's in between. That would be like, uh, be far away from both my daughters. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be close to one of them. (sighs) And when I look at this picture, I look at the man on the water and I see a nice snow covered mountain. It's like, oh my God. A friend of mine took this picture a few so weeks ago. You have ago. one where in, in where's one in Washington? Uh Aaron is in Tacoma. Yeah, Sterling's in Federal Way. Yeah. And so the other one's in Sacramento? Oakland. Oh man. She's an hour and a half away, so it's like we draw in the time same time zone. I don't yeah. I don't envy you. Unless you got a, uh, two places to live. Well, I definitely, at least I have a place to stay when I'm up there. And airfare is cheap, so normally. Yeah, Sterling's going to have to move. He's got a, they're raising his rent, like $300 a month. And so he's looking for a new place. And I asked him, do you want me to drive up and help him move? He's like, no, I think I can handle it. 
He said, it only take me two days. <laughs> I'm almost looking forward to getting out of the house for a drive. And I can go up and see Janine. I'm mm-hmm. really worried about Ray Hyman. I've sent him an email. I haven't heard anything from him. Have you heard anything, Janine? Um, I had a, a, a uh, email from Lauren who asked about him and said his birthday comes up in June. What about a birthday party? Well, June is a long ways away. I'm I'm so worried about him in January. Yeah, I think, you know, I think you need to check and see with Larry and I did you phone? I would know, but that's never helped either. We've tried phoning in the past. This lot the last time I sent an email, I sent it to Larry and to Ray. Oh. And I didn't hear anything back from Larry. Oh. I don't know. I, I, it worries me that I, I nobody's really in contact with him. Lauren needs to uh, go down and see him or something. Yeah, right now nobody's going out. Really? Yeah, no. We're not having anyone in the house. We're not going out. We're not, you know. Just today's, a today's uh, COVID cases were almost 10,000 for the state, 325 for our county. And that's per day. And that's just reported cases. And they had been running around 20. So. Well, today our cases were over 60,000 for our state. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And they let the person in. To Melbourne. Oh, my God. Well, well we don't know. I, I, I haven't heard yet. It's just, it's just so flippin' ridiculous. That he, well, he lied. I, he lied. I'm, I'm he lied about, on his I'm, thing, you know? I'm and talk and, about and more than that, he's out flaunting it. They need to throw that it's, man out. What, what I'm saying on the Skeptic Zone, which comes out in two days, so there's more time for me to, to assess the situation is the big story for me from a skeptical point of view of this whole thing is people thinking they know what the story is based on little information. Yeah. And that's a good skeptical lesson to learn because lots of people were passionate that either on this side of the camp or that side of the camp, you know, either he's a hit villain or a hero. And I'm in the middle of saying, I, uh, I, uh, you know, well, rules You're apply. Right, we, I mean, of course, course, but don't we know right. that he he All said right. he had COVID in December? We we and we know don't think he did. And don't know and half know a lot of things, and that's the lesson. It will come out. We'll you know eventually it'll be a lot clearer. But at the moment, there's a lot of things that aren't. We I I'm I right, but there's a t- deadline. Effect. He needs to either be there or go. It's not. We, yeah, I I, we don't I, have I know that weeks I'm to not, figure it out. I, I know I'm not defending him or or anything like that. I'm just saying as a situation, when it comes to people jumping the gun and thinking they know what the the situation is, uh, like all his supporters, uh, going bonkers, and now they they're convinced it's political. Of course not. It's it's or, or or there's some movement to stop him because they don't want him to win. You know, this is just crazy talk. Yeah, yeah. Well, then it should have been dealt with correctly before he. I agree. The dead. simple the simplest explanation is probably just a monumental idiotic stuff up, and it's got lots of facets to it. But in two days, we'll all know a bit a bit more. It'll be a bit clearer. Why? Why in two days? Oh, because of the skeptic zone coming out. Yeah, yeah. In two days, I mean, hopefully today we'll get a decision whether he stays or goes. They they still yeah. haven't reached the decision, which is just dragging it on. Which is another thing, which is just wrong. You know? Make a decision. Make a decision. But they probably need time for fact finding. Well, and they, do they do this too, for everybody? Do, does yeah, anybody well, coming in get the same privilege? Everybody has the right to appeal. And that's that's his right. If and if he wants to invoke that, the law is he can do that, and we can't now. Well, how long has it been? A week. I I know, but what, what I'm saying is, just because we don't like a situation or we feel one way, that does not mean we can strip somebody of their legal avenues. It's complex. That's what I'm saying. I and don't. This is not me saying 
he he should stay i don't care if look if he can go go you know i that's not the that's not the point i'm i'm trying to make here the, right. the point i'm trying to make is we all have to as much as it irks us sometimes we have to let things play out and gather more information and, and that's we'll true of that's true of all kinds of fast breaking news too yeah yeah you learn it very clearly when you're on fire and rescue because you get a call out for one thing and once you arrive there it may or may not be what you were called for the, the good and point it is get complex <clears throat> once you get there who is this we're talking about uh, um, um novak Djokovic, and oh yeah, yeah. So people say he lied on his immigration card, which <clears throat> is an outrageous statement because he might have lied on his immigration card. He might have made a mistake. His agent might have lied on his immigration card. His agent might have made a mistake. I've made mistakes on immigration cards. Yeah. Oh, come on, happened. really? I yeah, am not a multi-million have. dollar uh, star that would that no no but i'm me right and you'd think i would be careful sometimes i make errors on things like immigration cards and the customs officer says why did you take this I said, oh i'm so sorry you know i've just got off of it happens now i'm not saying that happened with him he might have lied i don't know we shall we see might the eyebrow out. going up over here on me i know susan but what i'm saying is that we can't as much as we want to jump to conclusions and, and, and neatly package it, sometimes we can't do that. Yeah, it's like it's really important to remember that like in like part of skepticism is also to try to curb our own bias, which in this case would be to assume that he meant ill by it, that yeah. he, he was He's meaningfully lying and doing and claiming so claims that you have data that states that that is exactly what he did. He's and got I don't think cookie do. crumbs all over, chocolate cake <laughs> all over like, his I don't face. Think he does. And I you know, just walk to the kitchen and there's a big bite out of the chocolate cake. Way. And at we're a like, certain point, you like, got to say to yourself, yeah. we have to make a decision. And we yeah, need I, to make it very quickly. And yeah, we cannot yeah, be, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, dividing yeah. us further and it's making yeah. a mess of things. So it should have been taken care of I agree. Got here and it should have, it should, it should and since have, it wasn't, it should have been day one. That's the decision go. Not this. Well, it can't be day one. That's the decision go because he has legal right. avenues of appeal. Does everybody and have those same yes, legal avenues? And you okay, cannot, and the same you amount of time. Yep. I'm no I'm no legal expert, but if if people want to pursue their legally entitled legal avenues of appeal, then to deny them that would be start to be a you yeah. know. That's can't denying just, them their rights, and we're yeah. not gonna we're not gonna sink to that level. That's not a yeah. that's not a good place to be. Like that's that's advocating that we always will know better. That they always are that they're not entitled to their rights. Like that's the law, you know. That's that, yeah. whether the we, law, we think it's, it's right or wrong. That we uphold the rules that we agree on, like yeah. that we agreed on. We agreed on beforehand. That's what the law is. Ultimately, now, it, that's what it, we're trying to do. It might turn out that. He lied. It might turn oh. out that he was infectious and he lied. It might all turn out like it that. Isn't. Way. Can you we can have you to close see. the breakout rooms? Um oh, everybody's yeah. just they're not, yeah, they're not coming back. Where control. is everybody? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just here, our group. Yeah. <laughs> no, anyway. but um so yeah, we can often say we came meeting, back 10 minutes ago on accident and lost powers and stuff. So so but uh Susan got me back in the room. That's why I went and joined it and then left the room so that way I'll, I'll be back in the room correctly when we get back so um the people should be pouring in any minute now yep james where where are you located sacramento oh sacramento i think i know you've told me before it's just that's I fine remember <laughs> i i forget to people places too laurie so. if this was an interesting back. category i'm dying to hear the answers <laughs> I can't tell if you you mean that or not. No, I, I do. Okay. Yeah, just why are you muted? <laughs> you know, it's one, those, it's one of those. It's one of those. 
you could be sarcastic about it. It's okay. I know I picked a category full of numbers. You can be mean. <laughs> It was, it was fun. We had to, we had to really like. We had to reason it out. Reason it right. out. Yeah, that's, that's what we have a guess for. at how many people are in the city and how many percent. Yeah. You know, we, we just what our range is. Number generator and put that mm. as our answer. I'm sure we got awesome. some right. That would I'm make sure it fast. Be, like close and then definitely the problem, wrong. The problem with the one of these is if everyone did one like this, the game would end at 3 a.m. So luckily, my category is going to be really quick. It's, okay. it's, what well, is this I'm a gonna, picture of? I'm going to go ahead and like skip forward to like, let's go ahead and get to the answers just because I know that took a little while. We're back. So, yeah. So, uh, the answers. So, uh, what is the, uh, what is the world population or what is the population of Japan according to Worldometer? It's about 126.7 million. So wow. the valid answers are between 95 million and 158 million. Excellent. And yes, I yeah, did Leonard. put little valid answer brackets on every single question. We knew it was a lot, Thank but you. we didn't think it was that much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were at the oh. one point, Richard. <laughs> You're spot on. Did we get that compared to only Australia? Off by one million? So uh, number two, um, what percentage? I heard some interesting conversations about this. I really enjoyed going into everybody's rooms on this one um it is of course surprisingly dense um and this is i will say probably the most like the widest definition because there are multiple definitions of the greater tokyo area area but this is according to the un um so about 30 percent or wow. 38.1 million people wow, um, what, was the plus what was the plus or minus Five percent. So if you answered somewhere between twenty-five and thirty-five yes. percent, yes, you got yes. this. <laughs> we said twenty, I think, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the answer to number three, and I have the link to the uh, to the Guinness record as well here. Um, it seems like a lot of places just reported the same number. I actually could not find um, more. Uh, I couldn't find actually. Uh, a lot of independent sources other than the Japanese Tokyo Rail site, which is impossible to read if you don't speak Japanese. And I don't read well enough kanji to be able to do that. So, um, but um, it seems well corroborated that the answer is about 3.6 million Whoa. people. Yes. Wow. We said 4 million every day. Wow. And Wow. This is because it's the merging wow. of the Japan East and Japan West railways. They had two separate stations that were approximately two blocks from each other. And then they merged the two buildings together to form the Shinjuku station, which bridges wow. the two. So yeah. it has, so anywhere between 1.8 million and 5.4 million is correct. Carl, wow. did you not listen to me? So the 200 <laughs> entrances and exits, you had to yeah. overruled me. Not, yeah. ah. I mean, it doesn't I matter. Apologize. Exits. Oh, right. They're all around the building. It, it like they're uh, they both go up above ground and below ground. They have a full mall which extends about 12 stories up, and another full mall that extends four stories underground. Wow, it's wow. massive! It's, it's yeah. Like, I was it, I was in shock walking around that place when I was in Japan. Um, and I absolutely like almost certainly you will probably pass through it if you go to Japan at some point. And so, like you know, keep your keep your eyes out, look around, check it out. It's really cool. Out the people. They have some, they have some amazing food there too. Out the people. Huh? What did you say, Kevin? <laughs> I said count the people. Count the people. <laughs> One potato, two potato. So, uh, the answer for number four. Um, so YKK has about forty percent of the market share oh. in zippers. Forty. Which, but that is worldwide, and that includes almost all U.S. brands, almost all European brands. That includes Chinese brands, Japanese 40. brands. They they actually say take five things out of your closet that have a zipper on them. Chances are one of them has a YKK brand on it. Like just look at the zipper tab and the zipper. Tab I, my zipper YKK. right here is YKK. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I yes, looked down. Yes. And, and All of the, everything we looked too. at was. Yeah. yeah. They are we the they, well, especially for people in the Pacific Northwest, almost a lot of our stuff is gonna have YKK zippers on them because they're also the inventor of the first waterproof zipper. 
Mine has so, a big X on it, so I don't think it's white. Yeah. Mine has TG. So it's only 40%, not YKK. It's only 40% because SBS, like in China, has shot up, or in Hong Kong, has basically shot up in terms of like cheaper zippers, and they've been like they've been getting out there real quick so um so yeah uh but anyway that uh i've got the links to the articles there um so uh number five um so what percentage of japanese vending machines are beverages the answer is about 57 percent wow yes wow. I said 60. yeah so the plus or minus is 20%. So anywhere between 37% oh, yeah. and 37% oh, so close. We were counts. 30. And the, like, the reason why I gave such a wide boundary here is because a lot of them are things that we wouldn't even think of as a vending machine, but it is a vending machine, ultimately. Like uh, what? ATMs are a vending machine. Oh, They're vending oh yeah. that's true. They probably have squid in them, too. Yeah. <laughs> <They're all laughs> <have> things, like, <laughs> like, the top... <laughs> The top bracket underneath beverages is, uh, they call it automated human services, which is basically things that normally a person would have to interact with, such as correcting a fare ticket for the train or, oh. uh, or handling uh, certain kinds of like co more complex operations. They basically expanded the idea of like how far you can go with a vending machine. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have vending machines for jeans, they have vending, uh, it, it just brought up, yes, they do have vending machines for tea. They also have vending machines for hot tea, which is great. Did you um, say teeth? Tea. tea. Like green tea, black oh, tea. Oh, okay. I thought you said tea. Yeah, you you don't like, need to go to the dentist, Susan. You that's just it. Tea. <laughs> yeah, T-E-A. That is a better. But they also do, in fact, have sake vending machines. In fact, there's a train station you can go to that has hundreds of them lined up. So you can try a bunch of little samples of sake, um, oh. which is like a notable like tourist attraction, um, both within Japan and, and obviously people coming from outside. That's something you else. They okay. have at the, the, end of it. the oldest continuous running business in the world, when uh, when did it come about? The answer is 578. Oh, we were off yes. of that. Wow. Hey, so, wow. so anywhere wow. between 378 and 778 <coughs> oh. is- We said 800, we just missed it. Ouch. We knew it was a long time. <laughs> yeah. They've been in business a really long time. They, yeah. ha however, did actually, um, they did actually uh, almost go under, but another construction company basically like absorbed them and let them keep their name and stuff. And basically, because they wanted the recognition oldest. of their name um, and, the oldest. and they wanted to keep it going. Construction so, company made them go under. Right. <laughs> they buried them. They buried kind them. Kind of like Geico's been around for 85 years. You'd have never heard of them when I was a kid, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, uh, so uh, thanks, Kevin, for spoiling the answer to number seven. Of course, the answer is about 85 years um, for it's life. Well, did I miss that? Good so, guessing anywhere it. between 80 and 90 would be accurate. Um, any of those answers? any of those answers uh count um yeah it's pretty incredible um some some reports said they were the second best some reports said they were third best it's uh, as some people may have mentioned it's a little bit hard because some of the countries play a little fast and loose with some of the numbers at times so it's really hard to tell but um it is pretty universally accepted that they're somewhere in the top 10. what what is uh, it in the u.s I, I have a question I have a question. Uh, where is the U.S. and where is Canada? Uh, U.S. is notably lower. Um, I think we're 79, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. The U.S. also counts any live birth as a birth. Yeah. Exactly. Not all nations do. Mm. In Canada? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Our neighbors of no the north? Idea. No idea. I okay, think that's your allowed. homework, Larry. How active volcanoes are there in Japan? <laughs> of course, there's lots of volcanoes in Japan, but how many are act like could actually erupt any day uh, and have erupted within the past hundred years? Essentially, the answer is 111. What? Wow! 
A lot wow. of them are very slow range. moving volcanoes. How can they be but... living in a place with 111 active volcanoes? Wait, what's well, so like one of the questions I didn't put on this is that they uh, Japan is technically made up of 6,852 islands. Mm -hmm. Only <laughs> about 300 or so are inhabited. <coughs> so a lot of them are the rest you know, of a lot of them, basically they are a small tropical island that, you know, it's a volcano and nobody lives there. Um, well, what was the range? The range is so the range is between 91 and 131. Yeah, my team wanted to go that high. We just missed <laughs> and it. And I thought that was crazy. I thought I thought it'd be 100, but <laughs> went higher. But I didn't know anything better. We were slightly higher. higher. Because my husband's a geologist, and it, there's a lot of volcanoes there. And I There's went, a lot of volcanoes. Little, Your husband's there. a geologist? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's that where rocks. I put a call on him. We got the but he would have told us the right number, but he wasn't there. I yeah, know. he, he didn't if bring it home. If I were home where a <laughs> wife should be, I could have asked him. Uh, okay. Uh, he was so having pizza with me number nine. Yeah. Answer oh, to number nine. Oh, How much snowfall it. does Aomori get uh, as the snowiest major city, as in greater than 100,000 people in the world? Uh, the answer is 312 inches or 26 feet of snow per year. Um, and a lot of it does happen all during the same season, and they have giant snow, like, the snow plows, they just push all of the snow to the side, obviously. There are pictures of people standing near, like mm -hmm. the nearby embankment that is clearly about 15 to 20 feet high of snow <laughs> next to them because the plow cleared the road underneath it. So like, it, it's pretty incredible pictures that you'll see here. And I, like, I'm, again, I'm they had sure enough snow plows we, to do that. If we had the number high enough. <laughs> So yeah, anywhere between 252 high. or 372 inches is wow. the correct answer. It was short by a little bit. That's a lot of yeah. Okay. That's a lot of snow. Missed it by <laughs> number <laughs> 10. It by 10 feet. <laughs> so uh I didn't have a chance to get back to uh to my room to tell them that of course that France and Monaco actually are a group. They are grouped together in, in the counts. So they are not counted as separate entities. They're counted as one entity. Um, so of course they're, but they may have stumbled upon the right answer maybe by, by accident. But um, the, uh, the number of Michelin star rated restaurants, three star Michelin rated restaurants is 30. Yes. No way. Extra oh, points awesome. for getting it exactly. We hit yes, it. I agree. Because <laughs> plus or minus 10, we get that one. Plus or minus 10. We guessed so well. So anywhere between 20 and 40 is correct. And like they've always been kind of like the second most um second most appearing country in the Michelin three-star ratings. But um, but this is one of the first times that they've actually been like fully tied up with France because of course Michelin is located in France. So um so yeah, so uh, I will I will say having been to Japan, it's hard to not turn any trip to Japan into a food trip. It is. I think I'd have no problem with good that. Food. <laughs> what about the bonus question? <laughs> Finally, um, the last one. Uh, when when was chicken ramen invented? Uh, oh wow! 1958. Oh. Damn. So 1968 yes. is the range. 65 is in the range. Ah, yeah, we got yep. it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Wow. Saved our ass. <laughs> Lori was just telling me last night about how how uh, nobody cares if you get the right answer. Nobody cares. I don't ever know anything she tells me. Here's she all, yes, it's Robin was in 60, 658. <laughs> yes. She's, all, she's like, oh, it's no big deal. She's telling this other woman last night. It's no big deal. Because she first said 1980. Nobody really cares about the answers. I, I know. I was but she first said 1980. We talked to her, and then she back. said 65. And I said, okay. Yeah. We went from yeah. 1980 to 1965. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Lori's got a lot All more right, competition cool. in her than I thought. Oh, oh <laughs> right. I, am, I am so competitive, and that's why you guys threatened. Like, All right, who was who was <laughs> who was closest? Extra points more for getting closest. He had, <laughs> he had 1952. Here comes Karen. 65. What was the actual? He also put 65. What was the actual answer? Oh, wait. 58. 58. 
Okay. We'll 58. All right. So let's get our scores. All right. Now, Karen's already going to be on a team, so you do not get this. So it's not going to, she's on team five. So it doesn't matter what, uh, what you report. It's, uh, we're looking for who, who comes in after her. All right. So, hi, Karen, by the way. Um, so the, we just had a category on numbers in Japan. <laughs> so here we go. With our we don't, and, How many and yes, Karen, it's, it's, past, it's past the hour and we're only on category one. How many lighthouses in Japan? Yay, I feel <laughs> lucky. I'm glad. There you go. Okay, so here's the team names. You're going to have to hear them all. The Provax, oh, wait, the Provax Oath Keepers from Washington. How many points did you get? We Three. were angling for the incoming Three. team member. <laughs> I Three big had, points. I had nothing to do. I helped in no way. So those three points have no reflection on my, my, my anything. I knew nothing. Okay. Uh, let's go Darwin. Five. Unverified Venezuelan ventriloquists. Believe it's six. Whoa, yeah. man, the team I was on sucks. <laughs> <laughs> They're just Again, not as good as my team members they're... really blew it. Okay, never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you all. Okay, what's up, Marine? Uh, four. Four. Okay, psychiccelebritykillers.com. Six. Yeah, we didn't do so well, you guys. <laughs> you guys didn't do so well. <laughs> I have to do that because you guys, I really didn't do anything in that except sit, stand there and go, uh-huh, uh -huh. whatever you guys were, were right with me, whatever you think, good. We were vying for an additional team member. That should be the name of a team, vying. <laughs> Actually, you probably got it if vying, somebody vying finally shows up. Vying for a nerd would be great. Vying, vying for a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so great. Great category, Jeff, just not on the team that I was on. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, team. My loyalty is moving to let's go Darwin because that's the next. Team. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to move on, you know. All right. So Carl with a K or whatever letter you want him to have is is next up. Carl with a K. Can you bring it in? Sure. Movies by bad description. Oh, I like them. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm awful at it, but I do like no. looking at them. They're hilarious. If 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 the answer is from a series of movies, you need to name the specific movie, not just the series. But that shouldn't be a problem. All right. Number one. Muting oh, people. Who's me? Who's got to mute people? Yeah, who's going to do the Romero. Muting three, two, one. All right, number one. Only one man has the rocks to try to end world hunger. Number two, man's wife dies. He tries to get high in order to cope. Accidentally gets a minor high along with himself. They go on a major trip and end up good friends when they come down. Number three, billions of dollars spent to help one remote tuber farmer. Number four, I have a little help with the year. 1964, bullied kid with birth defect prove others are only nice to you when they need something. Number five. I got dark. Children on bikes help illegal aliens flee from the feds. Number six. Older sister steals her sister's chance to appear on a TV game show and become a hero to the world. Number seven. Two robots go to a drug dealer's mansion to help steal his wall art and blow up his yacht, and we're just getting started. Number eight. A rule prevents me from describing this film. 
<laughs> okay. Number nine. A Scottish Spaniard mentors a French Scot and loses his head in the process. And lastly, there is no bonus question. Number 10, 1980 slasher pick made as a ripoff of Halloween set at a summer camp, but there is no hockey mask antagonist in this movie or its sequel. And there you go. Okay, great. Send us away. All right, breakout rooms, open all rooms. Boom. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to hear other people's uh, explanations of these. Number number one is Infinity War. Hello, you all. What is it? Number one is Infinity War. Infinity War. What was that about? A man with rocks. He has the the uh, Infinity Stones. He puts them in the gauntlet and kills half. Oh, them. that guy. Oh, what's yeah. that? Yeah. Really? Oh, that's Hunger actually Rock. a real one. Isn't it? That's right. That makes sense. He has the rocks to end hunger. That makes sense. Instead of invent, instead of making more food. No. Yeah. You and your he popsicles. Up half the loves popsicles. Population. Number, yes. number two <laughs> is up. Up? Yeah. When he gets high, he goes up in the balloon. Oh, I still he haven't goes, seen that. Yeah. Number three is the Martian. Oh, up. Yeah. Yes, the Martian. Three is Martian. Three is Martian. Three is Martian. Really? Four, the mask. Hold on. Or what was it called? Um, with Cher, the elephant kid, or whatever his name is. The mask is what you're talking about. Is that right? Hold on. I thought the one with Cher was called. No, no. Um, let's keep going. And so uh, number five, five is ET. E number e five e is ET. Uh, can you, can you move this over here so I can see the question? Older sisters steals her sister's chance to appear on TV game show in the premiere. Older sister steals her sister's chance to appear. Um, let's keep going. Two robots go to a drug dealer's mansion to help steal his wall art and blow up his yacht, and we're just getting started. Is that the Terminator one? No. Fight Club is number eight. Sorry, well, oh, that makes Fight sense. Club is we don't yeah, talk about Fight sense. Club. Nine is Highlander. Okay. Uh, number 10 is Friday the 13th. Okay, number seven, two robots go to a drug dealer's mansion to help steal his wall, wall art and blow up his yacht, and we're just getting started. Two robots. Mm. Nineteen sixty four bully kid with a birth defect proves others are only nice to you when they need something. Is it? Oh, oh is that Star Wars? Which one? 1964? Is Wall Art? No, number seven. No, seven. That doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, oh, um, it, no, the third one. Uh, um, um, uh, Return of the Jedi. Wall, Wall Art is, is Oh, Han yeah, Han yes, yes. Return of the Jedi. There we go. Yeah, Han Solo. Oh, 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 yes, Han Solo. Yes, yes. So number seven yeah. is what? Um, Return of the Jedi. That does make sense. Okay, so older sister. Uh, older oh, sister steals her that... sister's chance to appear on a TV game show and they and become a hero to the world. 
So the baby sister is supposed to appear on some type of TV game show. And because of that, they save the world. I thought it was the other way around that the sister couldn't save the world because she's got her show taken away from her. Or became a hero to the world. It says become. Yeah, she's she has a chance to appear on a TV game show and become a hero to the world. But she's but it's thwarted by her older sister. Older sister steals that chance. So nobody's a hero to the world. What, what was the one with uh, Joan Crawford and Betty Davis? Is that you're talking about whatever happened to baby Jane? No, that's not it. She wasn't. She was a oh, child. Oh, I don't come out. Oh. Hey, think of a movie that has sisters. No, that could be whatever happened to baby Jane. I didn't see it. Because it's oh, how sisters. is she going to save the world? They became a hero to the world. How? So she. But I don't know. That's like really old and obscure, though. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. She. Was that yeah, the one with um? When she was a kid, yeah, she was going to be on a show. She was going to be on a show, and she ran her over with the car. And then she got all the TV movies and everything else and became famous while the other one was paralyzed. Well, well, they come. They're two sisters. <laughs> when, did the, when did Queen Elizabeth uh, take the crown away from her sister? Oh, okay. And what came show they <laughs> never did. She never did. Yeah, she did. Okay, die. thank you. Oh, right. I, I thought you were talking to me. 1964, bully kid with a birth defect proves others are only nice to you when they need something. I So it can't be the mass. That's 64 was the mass. I'm much thinking later. this is something where there's like, hold on. Sandlot or something. Sandlot or it or. Could be Superman. A birth defect, 1964. Try to think of something from 64. Mm -hmm. So what's Are four and eight? seven the only ones we don't have? Yeah, four and six. Oh, four and six, sorry. So knowing Carl, that birth defect is gonna be quite humorous. Like a magical power. Mm. It'll make sense when we get it. Like superhero, is there a superhero like Marvel? Could it be Cyclops? 64? Mm -hmm. Older sister steals her sister's chance to appear on a TV game show and become a hero to the world. God. Shows with two sisters. Yeah, I, that's I'm trying to think of a sister these show. These are movies. These are movies. Oh yeah, movie. But I'm still blanking on anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just assuming it's something I haven't seen. There's a loop. Infinity War up. Not Hunchback of Notre Dame. Is there any chance that number six has anything to do with the girls that were in uh, uh, Bob Staggett's TV show? No, not Full House. The Olsen twins? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. First of could 64 be Hunchback in Notre Dame? But I don't think it was 64 than that. No, that's that's like the 80s that came out. Was there a movie that came out like um was it is 64? Could it be movie? Dumbo? Could it be Dumbo? Because his ears were too big and people were only nice to him when he needed something. How about Syrian uh, oh, 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 oh. It could be uh oh uh uh, uh, Rudolph. 
Yes, yes Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh my gosh, that's great. Thank you, thank great you so job, much. Larry. Yeah, that was the one from that pulled out of nothing. I was like, yeah, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Actually, four sounds about right. Okay, let Larry concentrate on number six now. Yes. <laughs> my older sister steals her sister's chance to appear on a TV game show and become a hero to the world. Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune. It could be just a no-name TV show, game show. No, these are all movies. No, I mean the game show could be just. It could be. So how are y'all doing? We could have one. Hairspray. Let's go. Hairspray. Yeah. Um, I don't think there were sisters involved, were there? And were they? She, they were on a like a dance actually, show, wasn't it? Or. Hmm. We just need one more, Carl. How's everybody else doing? Uh, there's like a couple teams that have two more they're working on. Older sister steals. Could they be stepsisters? It's possible. I'm trying to think of 80s movies. Older sister steals. Okay, uh, you know, you have to realize, you know, when, when directors are doing shows, I'm, I'm going to assume that, uh, you know, the younger sister, uh, uh appears to be the Madonna or whatever, and, and the director uh, chooses the older sister for some reason. Well, uh, well whoever's in the show uh, chooses her. But, uh, I have no idea. I have Gypsy Rose Bleed, but that's a musical. Hey, Dolly. Did this have anything to do with... Uh, the Disney show about uh, TV game show. What is it, the Ice Queen or whatever? The uh, You're Frozen. Frozen, but that's Frozen. Not Older sister still her. No, they don't have a game show in there anymore. But they are sisters. That's a good guess. But it doesn't. Well, there's no game show in there anywhere. Frozen two or Frozen. Okay, oh, that's what I was thinking. Of that this, does have know. sisters. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the movie? Hunger Games. Hunger I, Games. It? Hunger Games. It's Hunger yeah. Games. Oh. Because she yeah. comes up, the older sister comes and says, I volunteer as tribute. So she can play oh, part of it. And everything's broadcast. Right. It's Hunger oh, Games. Okay, that's it. I, I'm, 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 I'm just go going on. by and <laughs> letting each room know that not necessarily all of these are necessarily all feature films. Some of these could have been television specials or television movies or miniseries. Well, we're, we're done. We got them all. We figured all right. that out, Carl. I'm going to hear, I'm gonna hear <laughs> each room tell them this. We're the going to go down. We got Rudolph, Carl. We know. We know about know Burl about. We got it. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you don't know. <laughs> See how fast he left this room. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about. How you doing, Faith, over there? Wonderful. It's, oh, it's uh, uh, picture. Is this the way we're supposed to hold our hands, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, good. good. First week back at work, but I'm tired, but. Do we go that. back? Yeah. Okay. Now I get to work from home four days. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. See, so guys, that was a great job, y'all. Really Much nervous. better than the other team. I was on that could not. Oh, my God. I didn't, uh, I didn't know anything in that first round at all. I no? Mean, oh, we got yeah. 10 out of 10. No, in the first round. I know you didn't. Oh, the first round. Yeah, the first oh, we round. We got 10 out of 10 on this round, Vincent. The first round, I was just uh, like, yeah, sure I think I'll just sit here and I'm 100% put my nails or something. I'm sure you'll know the ones in my round, Susan. Well, uh, I hope, well, no pressure or anything. No. It's going to be easy, right, Rob? The category is evil Wikipedia editors. <laughs> <laughs> the Remember, we're being recorded, Rob. That's fine. I know. They shit. don't. They obviously don't do their. They obviously oh, don't do their research, so I know they won't be watching this because they're just making up crap. <laughs> Paula, I sent you a message. How come you haven't responded to me? I was going to wait until after we had break when I have Why? time. So what? for, for Rob's team, you, you guys left before I could pop into your room and give you this piece of information so you can decide whether this is important to you or not. But it's only important if it if it concerns the tenth one. Uh no, well, they don't 
not I can't answer that one way or the other. All I can say is they don't all have to be feature films. There may be a television movie, television special, or TV miniseries in there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. The only, because, one, the only one we're not sure on, it took a wild guess, was 10. All right. Well, and I'm going but, to... Very interesting descriptions, I must say. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> funny ones oh, Especially when like, I go, I have no idea what this means. Someone says, well, maybe it's, oh my God, then all of a sudden it clicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we did today. All right. If you've I've, seen I've, it, you'll know it. I've started the timer. Tick, 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 No, we should do the do, 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 no, I think we should do baby shark. Do, 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 baby shark. Do, do, do. Oh my god! <laughs> you know that's the first YouTube video to hit ten billion views. Billion. Well, I thought it was the other one, the billion. the guy who did the Genga style. That was the Genga? that was the first Genga video style. to hit a billion. Did you say ten I, billion? Baby shark. I, I've seen it. Multiple times. It doesn't mean it's ten billion people. Oh, people yeah, I don't think another planet have come and watched the video. People on Earth yet. <laughs> My little cousin is a solid million of those views easily. <laughs> yeah, it it was it was big news today on the on the wow. news. Ten Maybe billion views. The first YouTube. Post. I am none of those views. I hope those um, kids that were in it made. Now, made. can we ca can we calculate the con the carbon footprint of those ten billion views? <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Oh, there's Adrian. Yeah. Look, Adrian's here. Hello, Adrian. Oh, and Troy's hey, here. Hey, Troy's here, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I put you guys on the team yeah. team one. Yes, yes. They said they had a strategy to make sure that I was on yeah. the team. <laughs> they really did strategy. well. They, they pretended they didn't know anything. <laughs> they made up answers to, yeah. I feel so bad. I need to put Adrian and Troy and everybody to work on Sunday. Though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Troy. right. Was there a lot of stuff there? No, it's not too uh, bad. It, not too bad. Yeah, it's 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 we're gonna get we're hoping to get all the stuff out on Sunday, but if we don't, there's still more. But yeah. Okay, everybody back. Everybody is back. All right. So uh, the answer to number one. The only man who has the rocks to try and end world hunger. I don't know if I'd have said only one who had the stones to end world hunger might have been. Or easier for Avengers Infinity War. Mm -hmm. Yay. Larry. Woohoo. Was it Larry? I think it was Larry. So it wasn't Soylent Green? Nope. Fountain <laughs> Heston had the tablets from the Ten Commandments, you know. <laughs> mm. Noble effort, but no. Really stupid plan, by the way, because when I came out of the movie, I thought that meant just one. It was Bob. Half I think it was Bob that knew it. Of sentient yeah. life, but no, it's one half. The, the producer said one half of every it's single thing alive, all the farm animals. including all stupidest, the farm animals and the and the plants. Stupidest movie I've ever seen. I think Avengers. Okay, number Up there two, in the top ten. Man, wife dies. He tries to go high, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Up. Up. Yes. Yep. Good job, team. Yeah, Up. Should that include the exclamation point? <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, last two. Uh, number three, I think most people got The Martian. Yay! Yay! Okay, uh, if you're recording, you should stop recording so I can uh, show a little video real quick. Okay, let me get to my, let me move some stuff around here. Where in the heck? Oh, it's underneath this darn thing. So what was the answer? <laughs> so the answer the is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah. yeah. I did. It's a movie? Yes, I You guess worked I on it? No, but the movie was Rudolph the Red Nose. I worked on Cheers. Oh, you worked on Cheers? Yeah. Right. Are, you Are you Kirstie Alley? Yeah, I was a casting assistant. Yeah, you're you not see my to have lived in Japan and worked on the Rankin Bass Rudolph Wait, the Red Nose. Lori, Reindeer. you said no. you were a casting what? Casting. I was a cast the casting associate on the show Cheers. Oh wow. Really? Did Kirstie Alley try to convert you to Scientology? No, it was before she came oh, on the show. Oh, okay. And um, Kelly, you're in the yeah. Kelly Long era. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you were down in LA. I cast. <laughs> I cast um, Dan Hidea as Carla's wife. That was interesting. Oh, cool. Gave his career. Yeah. That was okay. Overdue for my pee break. Oh, yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, fun. <coughs> That's trivia. We learned about you. Yeah. There Number you go. Five is ET. ET, the extraterrestrial. Awesome. Yep. Number six. The Hunger Games. Yeah. yeah. Thank Number you, seven. Leonard. That took us a long I was, time. 
Yeah. I have Blind no Planet. idea how I got that. <laughs> Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I like that you called Han uh, wall art. I know. It took me. I, I, that was the last answer we got. And I totally I, should have known it sooner. But I was hoping he described that it, it totally threw me off. Number eight, I can't talk about Fight Club because the first rule is Fight you can't Club. Talk about yes. Fight Club. Yeah. Very good. And that is very clever. In number nine, uh, a Scottish Sean Connery plays a Spanish swordsman teaching yep. a uh, Scotsman who's played by French Christopher Lambert in Highlander. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. And number 10 is Friday the 13th. Yes. Oh. Jason wasn't the bad guy in the first film, and he didn't get the hockey mask until the third film. Nope. Uh, that's exactly what I was explaining to my team, Carl. I'm like, it still is Friday the 13th. <laughs> he wasn't even the killer in the first movie. It was his mom. Yep. I'm what? Oh, Wait a minute. Spoiler. Just give a spoiler. spoiler. It's it's had 41, 41 years to see. <laughs> uh, it's 41 <laughs> years old. If you haven't seen it by now, the I'm going to tell you who Luke's father is. All of them except for Jason or he's X in space. All right, take the picture and wait. Scores. No picture. Scores. Yeah, we need scores. Scores in the picture. Good job. That was good. Good, Carl. Oh, so let's get up to scores. All right. So the 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 entire round is there's a document in the chat if anybody wants it. Okay. Here we go. So let's go with uh, the Provax Oath Keepers from Washington. Nine. 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 Ooh, nice. Wow. All right. Let's go with Let's Go Darwin. Ten. 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 Wow. What? what? I was on that team. No curse. I was on that team. Rudolph? Good. I was on yes, that we team. did. Yes, we did. Because that is one of my favorite Burl Ives movies. So what's up, Marine? Ten. Oh, yeah. wow. Right wow. Celebrity, celebrity, psychic killer, psychic celebrity killers. Six. Yeah. Boo. 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 We, we had Friday the 13th and we decided to change it. Yeah, we oh, had no. crossed out right It was a trick question. Unverified trick. Venezuelan ventriloquist. Damn. Nice. Okay. Damn. Okay. We prefer all those, to all those tens. creep up from behind. <laughs> Yeah, we're waiting for uh, we don't the next player. That, Karen. That's our plan. We're waiting so, for the next player. Who's the so I'm going to take a photo, but before I do that, I want picture. you guys to think that about what we're going to do next week, because all I have is Deborah and Lori's giving her first ever category. I need to know if there's anybody next week who will not be here next week who will be able to look for <laughs> um, Lori's categories so she can email them. If so, can you... Oh, now, oh take the picture. Oh, please. Oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Somebody has to pee. Come on, Sorry, Susan. Wiley's got to pee. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on. Chicken on his head. We got to take the picture. Everybody on the camera. Why do you three smile? Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Name that movie. Sunday. I'll be I got 40. it. I'll be 40. Sunday. Okay, Bob. Go into your bladder. Take the rest off your you brain. Got, you don't I have to funny, be a bird brain anymore. In the picture. Is this the, the break? Ball yeah, we're on a break. Yes. <laughs> All right. See y'all later. I'm going to go. We're on a break. What was that, Ben? What? What, what that? Is that a bunny? Yeah, it's funny, Grogu. <gasps> oh! Yeah, because uh, I got the, uh, it was on sale, the Star Wars set that has uh, Mando oh, and, and Grogu, good. but it's really easy to just pull his ears off and make him look like a bunny. Oh. There, let me turn him back into Grogu. Are you watching the Grogu mug? <laughs> Are you watching the book of Boba Fett? Yep. I think I'm one episode behind. I haven't watched the most recent one that came out. Yeah, me, me neither yet. I liked, I'm liking it so far. I, yeah. I am loving the way um, I, I assume. Um, oh, what's his face? The, the producer is the writer too. That he weaves the things in to like fix problems in the uh, original movies, <laughs> like the, the oh, Sarlacc yeah. problem, right? The Sarlacc thing. Yeah, yep. really, really good. Yeah, the TV uh, show I mean, has been uh, immensely better written than the yep. prequels or the sequels, yep. as, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Yep. No, the it, actor that plays Boba Fett. Has an incredible presence. Yes, yes, he does. he's amazing. Is he, have you seen him in anything else? He's not that I recognize, but I don't. I'm not good is at that. Actor? Yeah, he's a good actor. He he yeah. sees this guy in the thing. I, I don't know. <laughs> he, he plays. Uh, he plays Aquaman's dad. 
Oh. Hmm. To more Morrison. Yep. Yeah, and Book of Boba Fett is really good. It also contains like all the Star Wars lore that I didn't even know I wanted. Yeah, I totally <laughs> right. Agree. Like it's it's the yeah, oh, what, I like, thought what, they were what just the, what's about with the sand people, enemy. right? Yeah, yeah right, like right, I right, thought right. I thought they were made intentionally cheaply, and yeah. I mean they were at the time, but this is giving us so much more backstory and yeah. That, that's why yeah. I, th I think the guys are really good. Okay, like they really screwed that up. How can we improve that by giving it a really reasonable backstory? And they really do a yeah. good job of that. Yeah, I liked it. Um, they specifically pointed out how there's different like clans of Tusken yep. Raiders. So there's yep. clans that are yeah. you know, more violent and, you know. Yeah. And they, there was a whole thing like a climate change destroyed the planet. Right. Yep. And that's why they're living like they are. Yeah. It's, and they're the indigenous people. Right. Yep. You know, yeah. the, 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 the Western people are the invaders. As, you know, One of the interesting that, that this show makes uh, Star Wars even more similar to Dune, like there wasn't already mm -hmm. much of Dune yep. parallel. That's true. But yeah, they're essentially wearing suits that help to, yep. you know, to save water. Still suits. Still suits. Yep. Yeah, totally. Yeah. All right. Oh, I got to go take a break. So I'm next. Okay. Yeah, there was also the, uh, what was it? The, uh, the question about the spice. Yes. It's like, which spice are you talking about? And yeah. then they're like, oh, we're not doing that. was like, perfect timing. Yeah. The, the crate all yeah. breaks open. He's like, uh, that one right there. The actor mm -hmm. who played Paul, plays Paul Atreides is in Don't Look Up. Ramiro pointed that out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we, when we watched up, he's like, oh, look, it's Paul Atreides. Yep. And it took me. I was like, no, it's not. But it is. Yeah, he was good in that. Yeah, I'm really liking Boba Fett. I mean, it's not, you know, I would say it's probably not as good as, as Mandalorian, but I'm still enjoying it as a TV show. Yeah, it's a very different story with a very different, you know, like with it's it's telling a very different thing. I like how they're weaving it together, and I'm really curious about like how many more do they have that they're going to start like weaving those plot lines in as well, because this is getting pretty, it's getting dense, but in a good way. Yeah. In a rich way, which is, you know, what you would hope for. Well, and that's like the, you know, the Star Wars universe is a very rich universe. And yet, you know, they kept going back to the same, at least the movies seem to keep yeah. going back to the same. Well, considering that Force Awakens was practically just uh, a new hope all over again. It was. You know, oh, we're going to you know, down to the whole trench run and everything. We're going to send some X-Wings down this trench and to blow up this giant ball that's, you know... Yeah. Yeah, I think out of all the, all the films, Rogue One is my favorite. Because yep. it oh, I love Rogue so One. Good. Rogue yeah. One was excellent. You yeah. so mean the good Star Wars movies, great. the one about not about the two feuding space wizards that yeah. constantly can't leave each other alone and drag the rest of the galaxy in with it? Yeah, like... Well, and I still can't forgive... Even though I like some of his movies, Ryan Johnson, you know, because like Knives Out was good, but I still can't forgive him for what he did to Luke's character. He assassinated his character in the second sequel. Like what they, it's, it's, I've, I watched a YouTube video that's totally like how everything he does in that movie is completely out of character of what we've seen Luke do in every previous time we've seen him. You know, like uh, he doesn't give up on his dad, you know, and brings him back from the dark side. But, oh, he's going to go slaughter his nephew in the middle of the night because he detected darkness in him. Like, it's just terribly, ridiculous. Yeah. terribly well, written. It went downhill from there. Like yeah. The Last Jedi is, I want to put it in like the, uh, what is it? Oh, hey, you Gingerbread got going Crystal up. Skulls era, you know, that movie doesn't exist either. Yep. Well, to me, really, Last Skywalker can't exist. If yeah. it exists, then the world it ends. Because it's just like, oh, yeah, you know, like anything interesting out of the previous movies, you can ignore that. Yep. We're you just know, going the, to the potential smash for, everything. The potential for a Force user that isn't just light or dark, that mm -hmm. isn't one precise, you know, almost like a distortion yeah. of right. a human character and now like, there's like yeah. talk in the harry potter fan base that we want kylo ren to now be young snape 
<laughs> driver to to, sure. to do snakes. I would rather story. not. I can't. I can't look at that actor. I just. I can't watch anything he's in. I'm just oh, like. Oh, your Marriage Story is so good. It is so. I can't. Good. I cannot look at him. I, I there's a nausea reflex when I look at him. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just saying yeah. it exists. Which actor is that? Andy Driver. Uh, and, Andy Driver. Yeah. yeah. Adam. Adam, Adam Driver. Driver. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, Star Wars. They need to take a page from from you know other other places and just reboot like that's one thing that star wars just doesn't seem to want to do is to to reboot let's have an alternate universe so we can retell luke's uh or we could do it. something really novel like come up with entirely new ideas oh, oh my that's god <laughs> yeah. that's, i know I'm we sorry. have to write the wrongs first, Leonard. we have to awesome. write the wrongs that were done to luke uh done to his character i i'm, oh. I'm not sure as a physicist I'm not sure that any laws of physics require that. <laughs> so when you say we have to, that's my standard. All right. <laughs> so if, if anybody's interested, I posted a link to a Facebook post I made right after I saw The Force Awakens. And I'm describing. And you were not pleased. A, well, I'm describing a Star Wars film. Figure out which film I'm describing. Right. <laughs> More trivia. I think I made people upset after this uh, second one of the uh, trilogy where I said I'd rather watch episode one with Jar Jar Binks over and over again. Oh, mm -hmm. I Jar, Jar. Jar Jar doesn't bother me. That, that, is, uh, that is a very low bar. <laughs> where are you? And they're knowing. On, on the other hand, I would just like to watch the first film over and over again. Yeah. Number four? Yeah. I, I kind of like <laughs> the one. one. That was just that was just wonderful. Number three, which one? It's the only one I've ever fun, seen. Well shot. It's a good night opened in seventy seven. I saw and, it. I and saw well it. and well worth standing in line for many hours to see. What's what's interesting is how much it took to make it a good movie, though. If if you actually research the history of Star oh, yeah. Wars, like the original cut of Star Wars before Lucas got help from various people that well, are you know movie. now now well well revered in the movie industry is that his initial cut of star wars was pretty terrible hey so we're back that doesn't we're matter back. it came out good no yeah. it came out great I, 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 I would say that is unsurprising and i'm glad that it you know i'm glad that influences not george lucas came into that film okay hello okay. hi Hey, we, we got our own thing going here, Susan. You guys are something else. Um, fantastic. Mm -hmm. We are midway, sort of. So I want to, um, before we get started again, I want to just remind you guys that we have two people next week, and that is all. And that is Deborah and Lori. And Lori would appreciate it. There was somebody who was not playing next week that would be, who is not going to play, that will look at her, her, so it, it might be not somebody who's here now. So like Brandy often plays, but a lot she doesn't. So maybe suggest, I suggest asking her or even maybe. Paul yeah, if somebody doesn't volunteer, I'll find somebody. Hmm. Um, yeah. So give us your best contact information. You I, I'm actually, I'm, I have <clears throat> work next week. I won't be able to be here. So I'm happy to look uh -huh. over questions. There you go, Lori. Hook up. Well, don't hook up. Just <laughs> get the information from Richard where you'd like to send his send the questions to him he would be a real good look at that so that'd be great so again i only have those two people and it'll be a very short game if we Is only have Lori on the screen i can't see her Lori, i'll do a category susan oh, adrian will do it she's she'll do it. you can't guilt trip me you already did it for this week uh <laughs> Susan. Is Lori gone Lori. Yeah. is Lori on the list color glass. No, it looks like Lori left. Yeah, Lori is so gone. gone. Okay, I done. will I will put a note here to get you guys together. Okay. Well, so, I have about, if, if, I have about if, 20 more movies by bad description and waiting in the room. <laughs> right. okay, I'll take just, another hey. one of those categories. I like those, I like categories, those categories, Carl. They're fun. Yes. Yeah. 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 If you can't get I got so carried if away, you, I had like 32 of them that I had to pare down to down to 10. Nice. If if you can't get anybody, I always have one in the reserve. Okay, I have so I still have eight eight or something like that. 
Okay, so we'll hopefully we'll somebody will have volunteered by the There's end. There's a lot of states left out there. <laughs> oh yeah, no, oh here comes Lori. Lori's coming back right now. I think I'm stated oh, out. Good. Oh, I love the states. I thought they're fun. My, fa um, my favorite is a Bose Einstein condensate. There you so, go. So Saunders. <laughs> oh, geez. I think wait, let me let Lori come in. So before you start, Lori, if you can hear me. Yes. Okay, so Richard Saunders says he will look at your category for next week. So if you guys could make contact with each other with whatever. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll come up with something. Okay. All right. So I don't Richard, know if we are Facebook friends or not. Or okay, that. Fix that. Okay, okay here, let me, let me send, can I send you my email on the, in the chat? Um, yes, if, I mean, if you're happy, happy to everybody, just, oh, privately, sorry, yes. <laughs> no, I can so, send it to everybody, I don't care. I'm oh, we're all sending an email now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we're all sitting here now. Richard, could you tell us what's happening next week on the Skeptic Zone? Yes, coming up on the next episode of the Skeptic Zone, we look at crazy Facebook advertising, including foot patches and crystals, and mm. why we think they are targeted at certain people. Also, you'll hear the Australian Skeptics newsletter read by Adrian Hill. And then to round off the show in the Trove segment, we look at references in Australian media over the past years to crop circles, including a TV appearance by me. All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Yay! Ooh, Richard, we got to pull out all those toxins, right, Richard? That's I'll right. My feet. Adrian, yeah. golden, golden tones of Adrian Hill. So the golden, we have the uh, golden Richard. tonsils. Yes, I'm Isn't hearing you, Rob. What is it? Remember the GSODO promo, which you uh, assisted with, and it starts off with crop circles are too intricate to be made by, you should use that one. Cool. <laughs> so we had a very successful skeptic camp on Saturday. It feels like I've been in this chair forever because I was in that chair forever on Saturday. It was a lot of fun. We had some amazing talks, you guys. I have 11 talks on a playlist. One of them is the entire eight and a half hours and um, here is the playlist for you all. If you want to check it out, thank you, Karen. But we had a lot of fun. But the video on here that has the most views is the one by JD Sword, who did the one on Satanic Panic and how it's related to QAnon. And uh, that's got ten, uh, a little over 200 views and everybody else is in the 20s or under. <laughs> so <laughs> it's because he put it on the Satanic Temple. <laughs> Uh, uh, website or something like that. So they got a oh, good marketing. Yeah, <laughs> they did a really, he, he off marketed it. That's so why I've been watching the views, and we've had seven people watch it from beginning to end. The video <laughs> with the all eight and a half, nine hours. And Lori told me at the very end of the Skeptic Camp last year, <laughs> or last year on Saturday, is that when she got to the end, you know, where we're all signing off, she said that she had driven from Monterey to, and and put her phone by herself on you know the little holder and driven listening to us and watching us the whole way to la <laughs> that's just so fun so she just kind of hung out with us and i took the i took the long way i took the scenic route so i could see all the beauty of california while listening to the skeptic camp thank you i think i i'm well i you, think that's fantastic the, just the idea of you uh, miss much of the beauty of california because that's all north of where susan is Yes, true. <laughs> it was very flattering to have her do that. I thought it was a very sweet thing to do. So kudos. Um, Carl, not Carl. It's a Kyle good group was, to spend the day with. I that was so. fun. Kyle was, isn't here to talk about skip, uh, Data Skeptic, so I don't have that for you right at the moment. I can and, tell you what's on the Data Skeptic show. Oh. This week on the Data Skeptic show, Carl Polly interviews Richard Saunders from Sydney, Australia, about the very <laughs> him. Psychic Prediction Project. Really? <laughs> oh, that's right. It was this week. I, I am on another podcast. Yeah. Yeah, Data Skeptic. Everybody. Two podcasts for the price of one. Look out. <laughs> Look out. And uh, the, only other, to raise. the only other thing I think I have to offer is that I did a talk on Monday for the Commonwealth Club. It was very badly attended. And so I don't know. So they said the video should be out in a couple of days. It's been a couple of days. It's not out. So maybe they're going to forget about my talk. I thought I did okay, but it was no feedback. So, you know, you're just doing your talk and then you, it's just silent. And then oh, when I got to the Q&A, since there was nobody hardly watching at all, there was like, they came up with a few questions just really quick. So it's kind of sad. So I hope they're, they're, some they're, love they're kind of dry. What? They're, they're always kind of that way. 
the Commonwealth Club. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. No, they they've got people that's got you know hundreds of views that that have just streamed today. So I don't know. I went I went to one there in person that had Sean Carroll. So I mean, you know, there was it was almost standing room only. So. Um, you know, you, that's who your competition probably was as far as their audience is concerned. Well, I would thought it would be different. So we'll see. But that was just the live thing. So let's see what happens with the video when it comes out. Maybe they're all just rushing. But it, was, not, it was Monday at four o'clock California time. So that's yeah. not great. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, time for people true. to come and watch. Especially when they know it's going to be on the, it's going to be up anyway. So anyway, my point is the video is an hour long. I talk about uh, psychics mm. and that's coming up. So. That's all I got. Are we ready to start again? Oh, we got another one. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Romero, Romero okay. what's happening with the triangle skeptics? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Next. right. I didn't organize this one, so I'm not sure um, exactly what it is. Could you talk about it? No, oh, next Wednesday, I'm giving my What's the Harm in Believing in Psychics talk oh, for the triangle great, great. skeptics. And I've done a short version of it. This is, I have a whole hour to talk. So this is going to be way, the way bigger one that I've done because I had like, 10 minutes as icon. So this is going to be a lot more information. So um, where, Jeff, where just the, I'm sorry, where are the triangle skeptics? I'm in the link right now. Um, North Carolina. Yeah, but you don't have to drive to North Carolina. No, it's a, it's we're doing everything easy. virtual right now. Jeff, go ahead and mention what you got there. Oh, yeah. So Julie gave an origami tutorial for Geek Girl Creates um and she gives uh uh she does a uh tutorial including a uh a kusadama ball that uh is just like it's just a little fun ball that you can make out of sticky notes um and as well as a uh as well as a butterfly bookmark so yeah so it's a flying uh, pig if you're so inclined feel free to check it out that but, looks fun you know okay um, i got it right here that'll look yeah. good That'll be good. Uh, did you guys? Oh, where's Wilma? Nice she just, <laughs> very Wilma nice. Just, Wilma just likes something. So I, I wonder if she's going to be over here very soon. Did um, Rob, did you and um, Richard do a talk with what's his face? So yes, okay. today, just before this, we were interviewed by none other than uh, the thinking oh, atheist, is. Seth Andrews. And when does that come out? What did you, th what did you think of it, Richard? <laughs> it's chewy it's, it's my chewy. lunch um <laughs> no we chatted for about an hour it was fine he just he just asked us all about how we did the prediction project and the, <clears throat> the um the conclusions and rob talked a lot no <laughs> no <laughs> and seth has a great voice oh my god yeah. yes it's amazing so that will be released when what did he say? I think he said the end of the month, possibly, maybe early February. Fantastic. And anything else I need to know or announce? No. We're a pretty busy group. I think there's probably lots of people who have got stuff going on. They just haven't said anything. They're just keeping quiet. It's really, really quiet. Okay. So do I have the powers? Yes, you do. Are we ready for round three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this will hopefully be not such a long one. I'm muted. Yeah, muted. Okay, so we are going to do science fiction spaceships. I am going to show a picture, yeah. and you need to name the film or film series that well, each ship is associated with. Me what their spaceship was. What was that? I asked you what spaceship was behind you. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's just a generic uh, fan art spaceship. So, no, that is not one so of them. These are all films, not TV shows. That is correct. So, I've done this twice before. This is my third time. The first time I did movies, the second time I did TV shows, and this is part two of movies. Okay, so I am going to give you uh, um, the file in the chat after we're done so you could look at these in your teams. Okay, let's go through it. There's number one. Number two. Number three.
this was hard to get a good shot of, but I think that was somewhat reasonable. Number five, six, seven. And as before, um, you know, these are from a film and they're an important part. It's not just like a, you know, a once flyby of a ship. Nine and ten. Okay. So, Any did questions? you need the name of the ship or the movie? No, the movie. The movie oh, or okay. movie series, as it says on the first. Okay, um, great. On the first thing. So, right, unsharing. And any questions? No, no, no. Okay, opening the rooms. Open all rooms. Good Adrian, luck. why don't you let Troy sit down? Is it like a Are like you going to put a link in the chat, chat Rob? <laughs> they just walk by. He likes by. standing. He the likes The only other chair is over Rob, there. Rob, are you going to put the link Bob, in the chat? Bob, you didn't put the link in. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go around and <laughs> get it. I, I can't do it now because yeah. they won't get it, correct? Well, you can put it in now and then also put it in the rooms. Mm. Like yeah. as you go around. Yeah, so we can look at it. Yeah, I'm waiting to go until I get the link. Okay. I'm ready. I'm not moving either. Where's the Fine. link? Where's the link? You are the weakest link. Link, Goodbye. link, 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 link. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> you can't put the link in it. Go to Let's link. just go. No pressure. Go. No pressure. Under pressure. You dun, dun, need dun, to put dun, the link dun, in dun. the chat. <laughs> there it is. All right. Okay, got it, got it. Get it, got it, get it. Yeah. Somebody's waiting to be put in. Oh, Lori needs to go into her room, which is which one? Five. Five with Karen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to three. I'll be right. Uh, can Susan, you give us the file, Susan? Yeah. It's right here, over here. Okay, so I will look at the files. I won't be able to see everyone, so. Okay. I'll stick my uh, tongue out at you. So do, uh, how do you guys wanna do this? Go one, one by one or? Okay, number one is um, Star Wars. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have the link? You guys yeah, have the link, right? Number yeah, two is from um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Which, right? which, yeah, uh, which one? Hitchhiker's I Guide to the Galaxy. I can't see any of the images, so I don't know. Oh, oh so, it, so it, it kind starts... of reminds me of the black hole character, too. Here, hold on. Let me screen share. Okay. Can you see that okay? Yeah. Oh, you can screen share? Oh, boy, you're. I, I figured out how to do that. I, yeah. I, you know, somebody taught me. So that's number one. We think it's what? That oh. is, that is um, uh, Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. That is what this faces ship, the um, uh, slave? That's slave, right? Yeah. This yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. So this one, I think it's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe, uh, Galaxy. No, yeah. no. It reminds me of Black Hole. No. It's um, uh, that uh, 1967 one, um, the uh, sorry, Hal, I can't do that for you. Hal. Is it really 2001 A Space Odyssey? 2001 A Space Odyssey, that's it. Yeah, okay. that's where it's from. I got to get Peggy out of this room. She tells me she's stuck in her room. Hold on a second. Where's Peggy, Peggy, Peggy? Number three, I think, is the day the earth stood still. I yeah, that's the day the earth stood still. Yeah. Okay. Um, hold on a second. I got to get Peggy out of her room. She is stuck. Where is she? She's stuck. Peggy? No, she's in her room. Okay, that must have been a message. All right, so then this one, I don't have a clue. Planet of the Apes. 
Oh, that's probably right. Yeah. I know it's right. How dare you question me? Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's always good. Fine. Great team already. <laughs> this is from that movie that was um, just really recent where they had the aliens inside and people were led to Arrival? No. Arrival? Arrival. That's Arrival. It. Yeah, that's Arrival. Okay. This one? That's very Star Trekian. Yeah. I don't recognize it. Um, but I don't recognize for sure which one let's, that is. Uh, let's go back to that one. Okay. That this one is, uh, is that one Star is, Wars Star Trek oh. episode uh eight um uh Voyage Home. Star Trek Voyage Home. Uh, the, yes, yeah. Definitely know that one. Yeah. And then this one? Because it has the whales on it. Uh, I don't recognize this. I don't know that one. It looks like something from a um like it's just put together somehow like uh, uh from that where the earth is all a mass member and there's like a little tiny wally or something like it looks like they're all recycled or something no wally no uh that uh that looks like it's three you know like uh 3d made and so there's like uh the it's not it reminds me of like something from the last starfighter the last star yes the last starfighter i yes. never saw that am i right i believe so i believe that's that's where it's from but again i, I, I remember, believe so but I'm is not this sure. one of the alien films are we talking about this one no 10 oh. the one you just showed i don't recognize is that from it. one of the alien films I thought it looked a little like from um, uh, Serenity. No. But see, you got Jupiter in the background, and that's part of the thing as they were going around Jupiter. Who was? Oh, so. They, they, they were like, you know, they would be miners and getting, you know, like. A... So is it aliens? Alien. Force. Well, aliens has got uh, the space marines. Right. Yeah. And so they wouldn't be mining. That looks like one of the mining vessels that they landed on the the moons. I never. I only saw Alien and Aliens. I never saw the third or fourth one. I yeah, was I don't told think they were one. really like the fourth one was the prison one, right? No, that was that was the uh oh that was the third one. So I did say okay. which one do we need to come back to? Six and eight. I don't have anything written down for. Six is um oh that's set five. Okay. Here's um six. Oops. I'm also Sorry. smart. I'm starting to fade, so I think I'm going to go to sleep. Does somebody have the answers written down, or do you want me to drop them in the chat? Can you drop them in the chat, please? Yes. Well, it's good to see you, Kelly. See you for a little bit. Too. Mm -hmm. All right. I thought I was going to make it tonight, but. Yeah, I got it. How are you guys doing? Bye. We're listening, Kelly. Oh, good night, Kelly. All right. Good night. See you, Kelly. Bye. Nice being Okay, this one is six. Let me know if we win. Okay, you'll okay. hear us. <laughs> did, did you do the team proud, Kelly? Um, I was useless this round, but I no. didn't know. Oh, kept score. <laughs> oh, you knew one of them. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Which one? Number six? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's definitely got the Star Trek y feel. Uh, would it, could it be from the first one? Star Trek the movie? I don't no. remember that. That looks way too high tech for for the first movie because that, no, that was low tech. That's not it. Vijer, Vijer. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time since I saw the original film. Same so here. Yeah, know. we'll have to watch it. <laughs> Let's see. No idea. Okay, here's this one. It doesn't ring a bell at all. Are those people right there or no? I guess not. 
could that be that horrible Disney one, the one with the robots? One of the robot has my name. Vincent? Which one was it? Yeah. It was a very old one from the 70s. That doesn't look from the 70s, though. No? Yeah, no. It does look, yeah, a little better quality than that. Yeah. I, I, it's nothing I've ever seen. No. So I'm not meant to help on that. Oh, it's called The Black Hole. That's what, it was awful. It was from Disney. It's called, yeah, that little thing with the arms, that was reminding me of the black hole, although it looked a bit different. The, yeah. the 2001 A Space Odyssey. Marm. No, I think that's what number eight is, the black hole. Okay, I'm about to give a minute warning. I'm in a closing room. Okay, so this one? Couldn't tell you. It's one. It's from one of the Star Trek films. Damn it! I can or something very influenced by Star Trek. No. Can you think of just name one of the Star Trek films? Um. Maybe Star Trek. Uh, let's see. Star Trek Two is Rathacon. Star Trek Three is the Search for Spock. Oh right. Could be uh, Search for Spock. The new one. No, no, the very, very new one. Yes. It's got to be a film, a the movie. The first one, yeah, Star Trek. Hurry. Um, the, the very new one, J.J. Abrams one that he uh, wrote. I think Enterprise? Was... No, no. No, that's come... TV show. Come on. Star Trek. I know it's from a star. It's from the new Star Trek one. Star Trek. The... We're oh, going to go. Good job, yeah. guys. We will definitely see. Well, that was an interesting. <laughs> okay, so everyone is back. Let me call up the screen share. Your team lost a person during the... Uh... I, I saw it during the deliberation. Kelly left. That was not good. Yeah. All right. So the last time I did this, I, I looked. I, I looked back, um, and the results were a spread from six to ten. So yeah, we'll, depending on whether you can say, "Look at this person's face." Do you know who they are? <laughs> uh, so we'll see we'll see if we get a spread like that or i, I was here it was one. just like that karen exactly like that i don't think so most people seem to be getting nines we'll see okay no so, way uh, not, not our team not our team you know uh, there's an our team oh <laughs> okay so here we go he kids. he kids rob poma <laughs> it's so funny okay so all right here we go first one star wars this is yes. slave one. Yeah. No specific. We got that one. Not the first Star Wars, the second one. The Empire Strikes Back. I didn't. I did not ask. I didn't ask for a film name. I'm just giving. I said. <laughs> I said series. Give this oh, an, an okay. extra point. Star Wars works. All right. And I'm just giving the name of the ship if I happen to know it. It's well, it's the name of the ship. one we could remember. You know what to say now. I mean, it's oh, Star Wars: yeah. The Empire Strikes Back. Yes. <coughs> All right. Oh. Vincent, thank you, Vincent. He got this one off. Okay. Right away. Wait, wait. What was it? Yay. Two thousand one. Oh, Two thousand one. Okay. We got that, Susan. Okay. Good. All right. Clatu ship. Got that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait. The day the Earth stood yes. still. Yay! Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, Paula. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought this might be a hard one. Very the only, that's the only one I ship. knew, Rob. The only one. Wow. <laughs> Good job, Jane. The wow. old people knew this one. <laughs> old people. That's true. Okay. One of the more recent what films. Are you saying? Rival. Hey, Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> Go, Lori. Wow. Hey, what was it? Wait, what was it? Oh, oh, it's got yeah. Yeah. Best, best Star Trek yeah. movie ever. This is the, <laughs> the first. This is the first DVD I ever bought. It was really good. I've seen that a bunch of times. It's so terrific cool. movie. It Still Everybody should up. watch that. They had an opportunity Star to make Trek. a sequel to that movie. I didn't hear what yeah. the previous one was. 
Star Trek Voyage Home. Got that? Yeah. That's the whales. Yeah, the whale, whale pro. pro. I saw that one too. We've been there, Susan. We've been there with. We've been the there. We have yes. been there. Thank you. Oh, this the, was the aquarium. Cigars the aquarium. Yeah, the aquarium. Yep, me too. I've been there. Frank and Gracie weren't there though. I mean, no, no, they I weren't there. there. They beamed they <laughs> them out. They've been there. gone. And Gracie, yeah. Yeah. I and, went and, to and, the oh, premiere and, and, and Leonard Nimoy was there. George and Gracie. Yeah. But she she got to hang out yeah, with Leonard. Yeah, George and Gracie, and it's close to where they store the nuclear vessels. Yeah, but <laughs> Richard and Susan the Bay in Alameda. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, and, and hey. Admiral. It is good. Yes, I thought it was Wally. Oh, yeah, we guessed that too, Susan. Yes. Oh, yes. did you really yes. guess that one right? The last yes. starfighter. Yeah, I, I will never forget the movie. death blossom scene, it is embedded in my memory. And finally. I don't think yes. people got this. Oh, no. no we sure didn't. No. Oh, I, uh, I, I saw Jupiter. One of us thought, did. One yeah. of us did, Rob. The, the, oh, very good. The Soviet ship. And in fact, uh, there's a shot with Discovery, like piggybacking on top of it and clamped to it. But I don't want to use that because that would have definitely given it away. Yeah, well, Jupiter in the background because helps. Because Discovery wasn't yeah. in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we did better than I thought we were going to do that. Thankfully, we're not as an embarrassing score for you, Rob. Okay. <laughs> I keep telling you guys, you know for a fact I will be on your team. So why so are do you time travel. categories that are not going to be something I can do? <laughs> yeah. you, you like time travel, right, Susan? I'll do time travel. <laughs> <laughs> she no, did, and she stayed in Washington. Room. Make her yeah. say it over and over. Just, just. I can give you the different versions of Washington, but I don't understand Washington, the strategy behind these Washington. categories. All Washington. But <laughs> whatever. You guys know better than I do. Okay. I watch a lot of movies, so I knew also. Yay, Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what team should I start with here? How about psychic celebrity killers.com? Good place to start. Three. Oh, no. no. Wow, who's on that team? Karen, Karen Peggy, Lori, and Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> All right, so you're tied for third. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the Provax Oath Keepers from Washington. God. Nine. Nine. Wow. Nine. Nine. Okay, nine. you are in the lead. They got none. They got none. So. Nine. <laughs> What's up, Maureen? Ten. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so let's go Darwin. Well, as the room closed, my team instructed me to write down a guess for number eight, and I got it right, so 10. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. That's the one that took us a long time to get to. Bren Unverified Venezuelan ventriloquist. Seven. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys are one point ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> Darn your correct guess is Carl. <laughs> yeah, right. We didn't have any nerds on our team. There's the you nerds. were unnerded. We There's had the superpower of Carl and ours. I'm and a nerd. I'm just not a somebody space said that nerd. wasn't it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Same here. I wrote it back in. I knew the voyage home. <laughs> I knew oh, the Star Trek one, but I couldn't remember this Star Trek. The Star Wars. Oh, what's what's funny is I had never well, seen Interstellar. I just Day. took a guess based on Last Star Trek. Wow, nice. I knew Arrival, but I could not remember the name of the name of it. But boy, I knew. So, the, so this was almost the same score as the last time, but before the last, the lowest score was six, and this time it was three. Oh, sorry about that. Me, oh, look at me. me. <laughs> look at me. We won so it. it was exactly Fight the same, her. except Fight for her. the ways in which it's different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exactly. Precisely. It was exactly the same in that each group had a score. <coughs> yeah, we had no zeros. Okay, well Ben. Done, Rob. Rob. Well done. Yeah. Good job, Rob. Good job, Rob. Good Very good. proud of you. I, I couldn't have guessed that it would be science fiction related at all or music. Boy, you, you stunned me. Um, <laughs> Benjamin. Oh, oh, wait, I was supposed to do a category tonight? You know you were. <laughs> don't even go there. If not, I have I have one on no, Nor Norwegian uh, soccer players ready for you all. Well, <laughs> you, you'll have to forgive me if uh, it's you know. So Norwegian soccer we could, players. I, we I can have busy, that so the first I one. to rush through this. <laughs> Does it involve this... counting the folds in their abdominal muscles? 
That's right. regions? No. Is this the? I'm sorry. Is this the bonus round or? No, it's round, round four. four. Karen this is four. Okay. Right. Oh wait. Let me. So, me. so Kelly put something in chat. I just saw. What? What's that about? The tableau. <coughs> Oh, that was a score from our team that she she had left the room. Oh. It was only for us to see. Oh, okay. All right. So I just posted for you, Susan, the answers for all of them. Yeah, thank you. I see. Okay, Ben. Uh, my category is called name. Oh, just... What? Shh. Muting name change. One. You're muted, Ben. Norwegian soccer players. Hey, they didn't I'm gonna me. have you muted if you don't be quiet. Um, Pops my and Jody. Is... <laughs> Are you done? We're doomed. <laughs> the look on that face. <laughs> my category is called name change. And so this is going to be companies that, um, you know, what their original company name was prior to what the company is now known for. So let me get my questions here. <laughs> Question one. Brad's drink was introduced in 1893 by Caleb Bradham. What is this carbonated beverage known by today? Question two, Blue Ribbon Sports was founded in 1964 as one of the largest manufacturers of footwear and apparel under this current name. Question three, this 90s internet service provider was previously named Quantum Computer Services. It was responsible for one of the largest mass mailing campaigns of floppy disks and CD-ROMs. All right, question four. Founded in 1927, this company ran convenience stores called Totem Stores. The company is famous for its frozen beverages and large drink sizes. What is its name? Question five. Unadulterated food products was founded in 1972 as a fruit juice supplier to health food stores. And their iced teas and fruit juices can now be found in vending machines and stores across the world. Their current name is a portmanteau, I think I pronounced that correctly, that came from one of their fruity beverages. Question six, this popular e-commerce website for buying and selling all manner of products used to be known by the name Auction Web. What is it called today? Question seven, the computing tabulating recording company was founded in Endicott, New York in 1911 but ended up changing their name in 1924. What three letter abbreviation is this multinational technology company better known as today? Question eight. Jerry and David's Guide to the World Wide Web was created in 1994 as a directory of sites on the internet. Its current name is an acronym that can also be used to express delight or triumph. Question nine. Precision Optical Instruments Labro uh, Laboratory was founded in Japan in 1933. What is this electronics manufacturer known as today? And question 10. This Retail store chain was founded in 1902 by George Dayton and originally named Goodfellow Dry Goods. 
Okie dokie. Any questions? Very good. All right. Very different. Something different. Yay. All right. Shall I uh, open mm -hmm. all rooms? Mm -hmm. Very good. Everybody's in. Okay. No. I will Hello, not be, I will not be sharing my screen. No, I don't think that would work well. No. Who's going to uh, take notes? Good luck, my team. Thank you. <laughs> Who, who's taking notes? Not me. Deborah's gonna, Deborah. Deborah's gonna do it. Okay, Brad's drink. This is carbonated. I think that one is Pepsi. Don't know what number two is. At first, when I was reading it, I thought Paps Blue Ribbon, but that doesn't make any sense. Did we name a footwear and apparel shop? So what? What footwear and apparel store has a, a blue ribbon? Could it be Nike? That swoosh? Was that a blue ribbon? No. And it hasn't been around since 64, has it? Has a different name? Probably. Footwear, Adidas? I know, I, they, know. I know they sell clothing, too. Yeah, don't know. Or um, well, let, let's go back to it. Okay, number three, three is, is AOL. AOL. That's right. If he starts to totem stores, is this a big gulp or, or those? Um, Deborah, you're frozen. You're frozen. You're you're muted. By the way, both Deborah and Jane are muted. They're having a great conversation with each other. <laughs> Sorry. I was wondering why it was just me and Leonard talking. Yeah, he was having fun. Um, about Slurpee? Well, who had Slurpees? Slurpees a good one. No, but the, the store that had them. They the were store 7-Eleven? Is it 7-Eleven? Seven Eleven is it could have been or, or, or um, what about like Sprouse Ritz too? I think Seven Elevens. They're famous for those. They've been around since drinks. 19, like well, totem totem stores. Yeah, sure. Maybe well, we can we can we can come back. We don't think it we is. We can come back. Did you guys have something for number two? Because you were you were muted. I said Nike. Nike, you think it might be Nike? Oops, not Nile. Yeah, I said Nike as well. Okay. Um, I think five is Snapple. Yeah, I think you're right. That makes sense. Um, is this eBay? Auction web, probably. Sure. Um, computer tabulating recording. That's IBM. Okay. Yeah. I knew you'd know that one. The itty bitty machine company. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's guide to the world wide web. That's Yahoo. Is it Yahoo? Yeah. And do you know what the acronym oh, is? Oh, Yahoo. So yeah, Yahoo is an acronym. Oh, I didn't know that. You know what it is? No. No. Yet another hierarchically organized oracle. <laughs> I have a feeling they came up with the word Yahoo and said, let's find something to make it funny. 1994. Okay. Okay. What is this electronic precision optical instruments? I think I've sounds familiar. Um, like uh, not Canon. What's the other one? Um, Sony. Nikon. Sony. Could be. Could be Nikon. Which is actually Nikon. Nikon. That makes sense. Yeah. In Nikon. Yeah. Retail store team is found in the table. The pillow dry goods set. I've heard that. And I My pillow? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, 
Oh man, what is that? I know. I've heard it. Wasn't Sears, right? Couldn't have been J.C. Penney. Susan would know that. Nineteen um, two. You know, it could be Sears has been around a long time, but I it think it's older than O2, isn't it? I think you're right. I think it was around in the 1800s. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because people were ordering houses. From yeah, Sears. that's right. Sears they were ordering right. like mail order brides and stuff too. No. <laughs> I'm sure there's some people. Well, somebody was. That. Yeah. Maybe. Orchard. So something. So something from the Midwest. Yeah. Of, of Could, it be Penny's? Could it be J.C. Penney's? Um, 1902. Drive fellow. I mean, it could be. I know the first J.C. Penney store was in. Someplace like Des Moines. <laughs> uh, it was. It was in a place that was like not Montana. I don't think it was Idaho, Nebraska. It might have been Nebraska or someplace like I, that. It, I think it's. I think it's, I think it's Target. Target. Target? Oh, that Target. could be. Target. I thought that was a modern thing. Well, name is. But nineteen o two. You would think that Target would have like that all over the nineteen eight early nineteen been around since nineteen oh two or or something. Yeah, that. I think it's more likely J.C. Penney's, but you guys get the final say. I I, I don't remember I... J.C. Penney saying that it was. You no, know, the the J.C. Penney's used to be called the Golden Rule. Golden Rule. Oh, okay. I think they did call themselves the Golden Rule. So what was well they used to uh, abide by the golden room was a big deal and I thought their first store might have you know what it could be pennies because pennies has been around a long time but not as long as Sears which I think is in the 1800s let's yeah, put it let, let's put it down the pennies okay I just don't recognize that name good fellow but they did have you know, they did operate that way. But I, I could see a dry good store, yeah. I've heard that name, but I just can't connect it with. Why did you think it was in the um, the the Midwest, the Northern, Northwest? Yeah, because they had a lot of them around where I grew up in Nebraska. I mean, there was a J.C. Penney's in every little town. Well, Monterey used to have one right downtown. I know they had it when we moved here. I was so yeah. mad when we closed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we heard it. We heard you it really big. Good. Uh, yeah, we saw. So, oh. to refresh my memory, I should go back to the main room before I call people back, right? So, yes. that works out the best. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it just closes like that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, did we get everything? Do we have an answer? Do we have an answer for everything? Yeah, we have an answer for everything. How about one? Pepsi. Um, oh yeah. Okay, we do. I mean, these things could have changed name like after only being around a year. So true. That's true. It doesn't mean I they really were... like the uh, the the name for Snapple, unadulterated food products. <laughs> unadulterated. <laughs> I know. I thought, what the heck is he going to say here now? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> UFP. That is that doesn't even sound good. I tell you, I, when when I see something that says it's got all natural ingredients, I'd be like, well, name an unnatural ingredient that you could have used. Unobtainium. Yeah, <laughs> that's about all. Huh? Unobtainium. <laughs> we have ghosts in our drinks. Well, fake sweetener. Yeah. Well, it's still natural or wouldn't exist at all. You know? That's true. That's true. Well, Why natural as opposed to supernatural. Yeah. <laughs> or even unnatural. Like, you know. Well, that would be um, our most recent president. Oh, yeah. Well, good. yeah. All right. Well, great job, y'all. Yeah. Okay. I think you did well. Yeah, we, we've got several. Yeah. But not by much. Yep. Wow. Well, I just 
gave I the one minute warning and people are that we got kicked out. We got with, kicked out. Oh, oh, we, 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 we thought we had oh, in the oh, room for seconds. And when we I did, two, we got we got a two minute warning. We saw that that notice. Yeah, we got so a two we minute got a two minute warning. It lasted for five seconds. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. we got it. We well, I sent a two yeah, minute warning on our last one. Ago. That's because oh. you guys need to go back because I texted. Oh well, what's one point? What's one point? Two minute warning. You're fine. Did you go back, Karen? That's a We were we were finalizing our final answer. Yeah, we thought we had fifty five seconds. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm gonna I, open the I, room I back the up. You'll be fine. Sure did it don't go with your way. first instinct. <laughs> yeah, I'll only go back if you need to be. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> not now. So if we say not now, is it gonna mess up things? Uh, no. Yeah, see, that's weird. I even, I, I left the breakout room, came to the main room, then closed all rooms, and I even saw a little box saying closing rooms in 59 seconds, and it was counted down. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, people, like, started coming back and saying that it pulled them back automatically. I'm like, that you, doesn't didn't, make sense. you didn't try to move to another room? No, I, I stayed in the in the main room. It when came I up with the timer. The for yeah, First, I saw the blue the thing saying two-minute warning, moved. and then it said... Then he came into the room. He says, okay, I'm going to go to the main room and close yeah. it. And then the timer came up for a minute. So yeah. I don't and know what they're... Some people start coming back to saying that it pulled back early. Was, and I'm like, I don't like, know why the timer... Apparently, was. there are uh, situations under which software behaves strangely. It is. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Got to be kept low. So so you, you, so, you, know. you went back from out of the room. So it may be when you go back, it does it too. But we no, got a, we had he, one minute. He, he left first. He didn't. Yeah, I yeah, left. He left I, first. I, I went yeah. to the main Close room the rooms. before I closed the yeah. rooms. And I saw the timer start, and then all of a sudden the timer just, I guess, ended for people. That's so weird. Okay, we're back. We're back. Right, we I don't know. Everybody? And we were we were close. The mysteries yeah, we of the fine. world will will be fixed someday. All right. Okay, that was fun. Let's see yeah. how we did. All right, let me get back here. Give me just a second. All right, let me know when you guys can see that. Yep. Looks yeah, good. I I, I'm almost positive we got number 10 wrong now. Okie dokie. I hope everybody got 10 wrong except us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks, did. How, how sweet of you, Karen. She's such a sweet. Probably art. did. <laughs> Okay. We'll see if they're on target or not. Question. Oh, one. Ah. <laughs> I, I hate you already. Oh, Pepsi. Pepsi. Hey, Pepsi. Hey, we got it right. Yay, Kevin. Hey. 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 Oh, Question is Pepsi two? also called Dr. Pepper? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, by people that don't know their soft drinks, yes. <laughs> I'll spy in, sure. Good enough. Blue Ribbon Sports. All right. I was right. I, wow. so I knew I was right on that one. Sad. Thank you for not listening to me, you guys. <laughs> All right. Quantum computer services. Hopefully, I gave enough hints in there. Yeah, yeah that was. Boy, were those CDs everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The CDs, CDs the floppy. and floppy disks. They were yeah, just. They were everywhere. Yeah. They were yeah. It was like litter. Later, yeah, I, I used to get the order in one of the floppies and wipe them out. Are you responsible for that uh, crap floating around the ocean right now? Yeah. Well, I even saw no. a reference in my research, but I didn't want to put it in there because it was kind of something that I couldn't verify. That at one point they had like all CD, like music CD production was halted because AOL was using all the CD manufacturers for a week to pump out and i'm like that seems a little suspect <coughs> yeah, yeah, a lot, I'm sure. i do not believe that all right yeah. question four hey yeah. Yeah. Seven, eleven. About this i one. was right on that one which is interesting because a uh, little side note on this one they had the name totem stores for the stores earlier because of like you can go one place and you can tote away your stuff that's like not awful you know necessarily the, the object but then one of the stores put an actual like totem pole in front of their store Ooh. and then other stores started following suit 
And the well, logo has an the error. The name was not in reference to a totem pole, but like being able to tote your items in a bag when you leave mm. the store. But yeah, it kind of turned and, into the other thing later. And you notice the logo has an error in it. One letter is not capitalized. You're right. Oh, yeah. The end. oh yeah, huh? Yep. Very stylistic. All right. Let's see Interestingly, in the this, Netflix in the Netflix Netflix series Inside Job. <laughs> Right, uh, the Seven Eleven is nine eleven. Uh, that, that uh, <laughs> That's funny. I still have to watch that. Yeah. On no. all day, on all day. Uh, I can't say the word today. Unadulterated food products. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So we got that one too. I didn't know that one. But... I tried to give a hint in there, so I think a lot of people. Uh, so I got. I figured. Part. I figured the apple, but what's the S N from? Hey, you know? uh, it was like a snappy for some reason, snappy drink. So snappy and apple combined together to form the word snappy. Oh, that makes sense. And another interesting like thing Dr. is Pepper they had they had the pop um, because one of their apple drinks was like, it had fermented and it had built up. And then when they went to open it, like the cap flew across the room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that had anything to do with the name, but you know, I just thought that was a funny. There was a lawsuit or something for them, right? Remember they a long time ago? It took a long time to get it out of that. Hopefully most people got the answer to this one. Auction web became known as. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It started with Pez. The wife's <laughs> Pez, Pez collection. True. Really? The wife's Pez collection was, was his inspiration. Oh. Well, I, I saw oh. that anecdote, Kevin, but then I saw that that was refuted, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't heard I that. Know. I could see that one could be. That was a conspiracy theory. His, yeah, his wife Pez. was a Pez collector. Yeah. And then that lovely long name was shortened to three words, which got even further shortened into just three letters. And most people call it now IBM, International Business Machines, or as uh, Leonard said, what, what, what did you call it? Itty bitty machine company. Itty bitty machine company. <laughs> <laughs> Or how? Yes. And Jerry and David's guide to the World Wide Web. Yeah. So do you know what do you know what the acronym is? Acronym is Ben? Well, I actually had something different, but I saw your version of the acronym as well. Um, I found yet another hierarchical officious oracle, but I saw yours <laughs> as well. You had the first O as a different. Organized. Organized, yeah. I've seen both officious so what and is it? organized. What is Yet it? another hierarchically <laughs> organized oracle. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah. Can we get that? And it's, and it's almost certainly a backronym. Yes, it is. I it's thought about putting a backronym in there. but Rob, did we get that one? Yes, we did. We did. Oh, good. So you can All say right. Yahoo. Did, did people yeah. pick the right camera yeah. company? What happened? Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Yeah. no. Oh my God. I thought yeah. Canon was you was North American too. So no. yeah. did anyone get that wow. Japanese, but I didn't know that they were the company involved. Did anyone get that correct? Yep. We did. <laughs> That's a really yeah. nice look. I have a lot of Canon products and I've never really looked at the logo that carefully. That's a very nice looking logo. Yeah. It's a little shop for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know if I, I like, the, like a. the the A looks weird with no, the, I like the, the way they blend together that is so nicely done I really I switched from Canon to Nikon when I went it's to like digital a strong wind blowing from right to left apparently it or it's very stabby it has a lot of sharp points in there very, yeah. stabby. Uh, very stabby it's sharp but yes, their lenses it is um yeah. all right no, it's sharp's a different yeah. company yeah that's true too it's to number 10. <laughs> good fellows dry goods target Oh, oh, I, I talked to one. people out of it. I'm sorry, team. <coughs> I, mean, I thought it was Safeway. How many people got Target? Just you. 
Yes. No faith yeah. got it. I because personally Faith's got Target, Faith's but my team didn't believe me. Oh no. Faith, did you get it? Did you get yes, yeah, because Goodfellow is actually the name of Target's mm. male um, apparel line. I we we went back and forth. We just didn't think that it was that old, oh. old and God, well, it didn't I come feel out really to stupid now. Until, like, Would you the, accept Target? Yeah, because nah. yeah, it didn't my, come out to California until I was like in Because I used to know the name of the guy who ran JC Penney's. It's and, based and in it's Minneapolis. James, the good yeah, fellow Danny. is what is what really set it off for me. Because oh, here, let me uh, store brands. Let me. Hmm. I mean, I know you guys all saw the slide, but coupon for my birthday. So, hey, Hans. I'll put it in the chat. Here's the answers. Oh. oh. Okay, ones and twos, ones and twos, ones and twos. <laughs> no, no, Karen. I, I oh. take it to see as like, well. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's start with two. the Provax Oaks Keepers from Washington. Seven. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Good for you. <laughs> what did we get, Rob? Eight. Eight. That's what I figured we got. Nice. What's up, Maureen? I put a question mark after it this time. <laughs> also eight. Yay, go team. <laughs> Let's go, Darwin. I totally screw my team over. <clears throat> Ten. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right, so psychiccelebritykillers.com. Nine. nine. Oh, good job. Wait, wait. <laughs> that score, the score was nine. Nine. <laughs> nine. nine. Yahoo, Yahoo, we got nine. All right, if, I, if I ever do a part two, I'll have to make the company names even more obscure because yeah, because they, the they scores got were pretty high there. So we're, we're just the fittest. What can I tell you? Uh, I think the people are uh, this, you know, you guys are getting really good at this stuff. So I think we're kind of, and we're getting to know each other well. So I have a feeling that some of the stuff we're figuring out because we know each other. So, so a little harder, guys, next week. I, I don't know what you mean. It's not like I've known Ben for more than 20 years. <laughs> I've known I mean, you I'm for a long time. Glad, so, I'm glad know. that we have uh, uh, 1994. Oh, wait. I only know one person here for. Many years. Who is that? Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. Everybody knows Adrian. Da, 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 da. Adrian. Come on, Adrian. Give you a uh, win or lose. Okay. Bonus, 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 <laughs> bonus, bonus. Okay. That's on me. Um, now, what? You know what? Every time I do a category, I think, have we done that before? So I came up with three. So if we have already done this category, let me know. And I have two backups. Um, well, we've got, don't forget, you can check the Facebook thing. I have all of them in there. I did forget. Thank you. Okay. But there is, there is for anybody who's, who's um, thinking of doing a category and you're not sure, there is a, um, on the Facebook thing that you can, on Facebook that for the event, there is all the categories. And Have you done the state of shock or the state of confusion? No, I don't think so. Also, <laughs> my son Sterling has a copy of the um, spreadsheet with everything in it. So if you did want to do a category again a second time, I'll give I'll hook uh, give you his contact information. He'll look at the spreadsheet so he can tell you if the questions you're about to ask are similar to Thank the you. questions in the past. So. Thank okay. you for reminding me to ask people. Okay, tell okay. that. A little bit. And there is a little twist. Ooh, I like twists. Right. Is it okay, that ties into the category in a remote way. All right, there are twenty six letters in the Greek alphabet. <gasps> oh boy. Name ten. We should know some of these. Mono's rules. Oh no. no. Myth, myth, myth. <laughs> Rob, I can hear how delighted you are. <laughs> Ono's rules with a new variant in oh. honor of the category. Okay. What? In order to not count, 
three teams must must choose that letter. So if only two teams guess the same letter, oh. each of those two teams scores a point because the sampling is only 26 letters and we're looking for 10. Oh. Right. So this is caramel. In other words, this is huh? duos rule. Monos rules rule. with a variant. This is the beta. Get beta it? Variant. The variant? Oh, variant. I like Omicron. It's less disastrous. I like this. I like this. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. 26. I didn't know there was that many. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. Let's not have that many variants. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, we ran out of Greek letters. <laughs> okay is everyone clear yeah oh we've never done anything close to this okay all righty so here we go uh the rooms are now opening have fun i think we're screwed <laughs> <laughs> oh i like strategy this welcome is and yep i guess Hi, i the, the other rule susan is i need to join my team last before I go to the main. Okay, so you need to go. Yeah, out, I need to go right? four. Yeah. Get him out of here. Although maybe we need <laughs> him. Wait, wait, give us some answers first. Really? Give hold us on, hold on, hold on. A before you go. Leave the room. Leave the room, and then I can move you. All right. Thank you. Um. There you are. So move to four, right? Yeah, with Deborah, Jane, and Leonard. Thank you, Susan. You're very welcome. Teams get it. You get the points. So, okay, strategy. Oh, okay. So we have to pick the ones least likely to be right. No, I think pick, pick the ones that are most likely. Well, that also works because other well, people are psyching themselves out. Only do half and half. Half we think that people will pick and half. I only rest. know like four. <laughs> I was going to say my horrible <laughs> They're education. They're all left well, beta, 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 alpha, beta, and who's, Omicron. Who's going to oh, write them down? Just think, about, just think about fraternities and sororities. Who's um, going to write them down? What about, um, what, what, what was the thing about the variant? Well, I know a bunch of them, but who's going to write them down? I can't spell. Go ahead, you I'm, can do it, I'm writing them down. I'm okay. happy to do that. We just need to know what we're picking. So okay. do we want alpha? Can we put down as many as we have? As, as we well, just write it down for now. Yeah. Alpha, alpha, alpha beta. beta. Alpha, omega. Beta. Omega. omega. Delta. Delta. Uh, Delta. Um, That's good. Um, gamma. Z Z yeah. I'm sorry. You got to go slower. You got to go slower. Xi. Xi. Is, is that Kai? That's yeah, chi, isn't it? or chi. No, oh, um, chi. Is there a C? Oh, chi. I'm asking, is there a C? Okay. Um, I don't know. Alpha chi lambda, omega. There's lambda. Lambda. Um, that that one I would think. I'm trying to think of the ones that people might not get. Yeah, lambda's good. I like lambda. Um, new, Omicron, everybody's gonna new, go. New and you. And you, uh, I like and you as well. Mew, I used to work with Mew and Mew. Mew um, I like Mew. Psi. Spell P S I. P S I. Okay. Bro. Beta. R H O. Yeah, R H O. Pi. Do we get pi? Pi. P I. Mm -hmm. X I. We got that. Zeta. We got that. How many Zeta, we got? Z -E -T -A. Z -E -T -A. Uh huh. How many we got? Eight so far. I have lambda, nu, mu, psi, rho, pi, and xi. Is xi chi? Yeah, so chi. That's I chi. Was she. Tau. Well, that's the president of China. I know, but I spelled xi. Oh, but, tau but is good. Let's try tau. That's nine. We have omega. Uh, well, Alpha, beta. I haven't written on the other. It seems like omega is kind of obvious. Yeah, we don't have sigma. What about sigma? Sigma is good. Epsilon. Epsilon. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys, the people who on these other teams are going to know all of these letters. There's only 26. They're going to know them. 
So I think that maybe we should go with the easiest. Kappa, do we have Kappa? Oh, Kappa, K-A-P-P-A. -P -P we have Gamma, right? We have more than 10 now? I didn't have Gamma on the on the second list. Okay, gamma. so now we have more than 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we have 13. Um, so let's let's just see as we go through them. Lambda we like. Any any objection to lambda? No. Any objection no. to nu and u? Any objection to mu, mu? Any objection to psi psi? Any okay. objection to RHO rho? Any That's objection okay. to pi pi? Yeah, pi might be too popular. Pi. Pi too it, popular. Because the very because having to have this um, uh, modern rules with a variant, and I like the and with a variant, it's very clever. Okay, yeah. the very go ahead, Peggy. What then we got xi? Mm -hmm. We're okay with that. Zeta. Z, well, I don't, don't know because because they the the um. Chi was going to be the name of the next of the of the Omicron variant, but they changed it because of the president of China. <laughs> they did. Yeah. That's why they didn't. They it. did. Yeah. Yeah. How many people know that? They said there's too many people with that last name. Not in our group. Mostly who run China. I heard that. Okay. So, so, but maybe leave it in. I'll put I a guess. question mark by it. Zeta, okay. G E T A. We good with a Zeta? Um, it's a common. Oh, common. It's in common. I think we should put alpha, beta, delta, and Omicron. Because you don't think anybody else is going to pick it? Because, because they're going to say it was too obvious. Okay. I know okay. people. They, okay. They're dying to show how smart they are. And they think that they, <laughs> they so are. Gonna, I know. I've noticed. I'm okay with that. I think we should so do that. I think half. that they think that they're, yeah, let's they're do, like, let's, we let's, have let's, to show how. How let's we do know half these and half really then. That's odd all. ones. Can they half half. Put the, the right. Let's do five easy and five what we think are hard. So we have four easy: okay. alpha, beta, delta, omicron. Is yeah, omega? Is yeah, omega? If you yeah. add pi to that, I bet that's another one. All right, but okay, and that's gamma's fine. pretty obvious too. Oh, gamma, right? Yeah. You guys so decide. On on the other side, so we have five obvious: alpha, beta, delta, omicron, pi. We got lambda. I think we should keep that. Is are we good with them, lambda? Yes. That and might be too popular I think they're too. They're going to know all of these. That's that's one you see like in 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 Animal House. I think you're going to just say, "Let's do five easy and five." <laughs> How about epsilon? <laughs> We're all going to get zero. Epsilon, uh, epsilon. Yeah, I think we should keep epsilon. I like epsilon. Sigma. I don't know. There, that's pretty common too, but. Tau, tau. Beta. I think we should I like tau. Tau. tau, one, two. Okay, we got three on the not so obvious. And one. I like mu. Okay. Yeah. We have four. We need one more. Kappa, gamma, nu, what psi, if... rho. Nu or rho? Kappa. Nu, nu or rho? Rho. Let's do rho. You like rho? Okay. Rho. So that leaves us with alpha, beta, delta, omicron, pi, lambda, mu, Rho, Tau, and Upsilon. Hey, if we get 10 points, we can only tie for first place. They have to get zero. <laughs> well, that's what I'm hoping for. I think it's I a very low score. That's sick. That's, it, you're okay. saying there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance. Do, we want mu, do we want Mu or Nu? You tell me. I like Mu because I used to work at a place called Mu. Mu I know it's an M but, is but, very but which is which is less common. I think mu with an M. Okay. Okay. Which Let's doesn't go help much over the interwebs. Mu is in Mary. Mm -hmm. Mu is in Mary. It doesn't matter to me really. Okay. Well, it is helpful to have no hope of winning because then you can just do eh, whatever. Just whatever. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna be spoilers for everybody else, though. Maybe. Uh, oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope. Hope so. the team that's in have, first place do we have at Omega least comes in, in there? second place. Did we place put Omega? Did we put um, Omega? Ome Omega did not make the list. Oh no, it did not. Do you want okay. it? Uh, uh, you want to put it instead of? Because I thought it might be better than Pi on the list of the obvious. I like Pi. Everybody likes Pi. Everybody likes Pi. Everybody's gonna. 
every they're all going to put it no they're not <laughs> or they're going to they, say everybody would have put pie so let's not right. put pie i think it's just right. as likely with omega too right yeah yeah okay we have omicron this, right this is a crap shoot it really is do we, we have, have omicron, omicron? Yeah. we do yeah okay Go and the list of the, the usual suspects has alpha beta delta omicron pie the less usual suspects lambda mu with an m as in Mary, Rho, mm -hmm. Xi, Tau, and Upsilon. I like it. Why not? Thank you. You missed the scoring on our uh, in our Japan round. We got the first one. We missed the second one. I thought you got both of those last ones. I think you did. I had to. I should have left earlier. On the Japan uh, ratio one, the first round. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got the first question with the, the number of people was 100 million, it was 125 million or something. I know, we so, just missed. And then the second one, we just we just missed two of them. We just missed two of them. Hey, the 800 I, year I one. Say, I said that. 25, you wanted to go with 20. No, we, oh yeah, that's right. And then okay. the, uh, the but, other one but, we just but, missed was. But to your credit, you got the last two. And then no, the, the, the 800 the, year, we missed that one. It was, the, the, the number it was like 77. Years. We were off by like yeah. 23 years. I took us Wait. way too high on the active volcanoes. I'm sorry. You got there. It wasn't way too high. It was pretty close. How many did you guys yeah. say? We said you 150 the, and the answer was 120. We said 120. We said no, 150, but my the answer team was like said 20. I said 100, but. No, I thought that was really close. I mean, that was okay. pretty good. Maybe that was. Uh, a, yeah. But you got okay. 10. Well, I was out walking the dog. You guys managed to pull in number 10, which was. Um, I don't, oh, the restaurants, the the Michelin Guide. Did we get that one? I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got that did. one, and you got the ramen, and I, I'm like, okay. yay, nice work. And we got the, um, the 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 people in the in the subway was three point yeah, six million. Yeah, that was, we that got was really four million. Close. We got and four million. Got, and we got eighty five on the money for the age. And yet we're yeah. still in last fucking place. What is wrong I with know, it? What the hell? No, the spaceship brown killed us. You know what it is? It's a conspiracy. No, the spaceship brown killed us. If yeah. you don't have a person who's into spaceship, you know, I know, you can't I know. get that round. It, we yeah. lost, we lost six points to every team on that round. You know, the other thing about the spaceship stuff, which I struggle with, is I don't care. Right, I don't either. You yeah, know, it's yeah. like yeah. I look at those pictures and go, whatever. You know, I let know. somebody yeah. else take this round. Yeah, at the and same I, time. If if we did if I took pictures of famous baseball players or football players, a lot of people not into sports wouldn't get it, and they'd yeah. be like they're not interested either. It's like so yeah. what? I don't care who that yeah. guy is. That's I, one of the reasons I love this crowd in this game is because it is so diverse and yeah. So I try to be weird. So you missed my categories last week. They were all weird. I did. I went all over the place. Yeah, yeah I like the categories. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not surprised. I, 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 I've been thinking about going, I don't really, I'm not, I don't belong here. This is too, it's too nerdy for me, but I'm sticking around because the, because of the diversity, you need some diversity. Yeah, it's, you it can't matter, think of Karen. it that way because yeah, every you once probably in a while, should go to the main room. Every once in a while you have a real hard category that someone does that you feel like, I uh, feel stupid. But then at mm -hmm. the same time, someone comes up with another one where it's like, I knew all those answers, you know what I mean? Or I knew a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't know them, you're learning something by hearing the answers. Yeah, and somebody on the team yeah, will know. I learned, I learned something, yeah, every week I learned something. I, the problem with the spaceships is I'm not going to remember any of that because I don't, and I don't Unless you see it, you don't really do. care. Yeah, I don't care. But on the other hand, I like knowing that people do and that yeah, perhaps I hear. It's really learn. fun. It's really The fun. best category I ever did that Rob did was Twilight Zone. Yeah. Because that I knew, I know that show. And Rob but, does those those song ones that Rob has done. Are, oh, I do okay on those. I do okay. They're on really those. fun. You, do you say you don't care for those, Kevin? I, oh, I do okay on those. Oh, you do okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do okay in the music ones. Did you do the one about um, Miss American Pie? Drove my Chevy. Yeah. Chevy? Yes. Yeah, he did it. That was my. I think that that was my first time I ever did this. I, it was my first joining of trivia and i was so excited about that i wrote it all down i showed my <laughs> husband you know yeah because i made it link together was, and you had to guess, link you had together. To guess that the was song. so much fun it was fun yeah. it was mm -hmm. different 
There yeah. he is right there. There yeah. he is right there. We've had a I'm couple like, like that where they've gone through and did um, like songs or something. Yeah, I've, or... I've seen him four or five times and I met him in New York City at BB uh, King's. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Very okay, good. I just want to point email. out, Kevin, you're killing him right now. You're murdering you're him. Killing oh, sorry. Him. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. His song is 50 years old this week. It was number one, I think. Oh, he he wake up tomorrow and there's something happened to him. Yeah. Uh, I got tickets to see him in July. I'm so recording this. Oh, Kevin, you may not. You may not. The last, you, the last you heard, he was still alive, huh? Hey, how oh, do you geez. how do you have a picture up instead of your film like that? How do you do that? He shared his screen. No, no, I just shut my camera off. Oh, I have a background. Oh, I see. Oh, like I would do that. Yes. A background without you. Yeah, there you go. We don't need to see you, Mrs. Butterworth. We need to see your syrup <laughs> my, my syrup bottle good job team back to wherever it was you bought it because you're too fucking stupid to own a computer <laughs> did she not that's have what, power or she simply forgot to plug it in that's an no. old, old email from no. the uh, service department mm, their that. lights were out and everything else <laughs> I mean, who cares? I mean, this is the funniest story you've ever heard. <laughs> well, the, the funniest one I've ever heard is the uh, person complaining about the uh, coffee cup tray breaking. The cup holder, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Think, I think that's funnier. That's the, the CD-ROM thing? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. original the original Keurig machine, the coffee machine, had a similar design, and they push a button and it come out. You put the packet in, you put the K cup in, and it goes back in. And that was the biggest flaw; it kept breaking. So they redesigned it and then came up with the with the open top, and it made a huge difference in the in the in the product. I used to work at a um, at an internet company for a few years, and these are actual true things. Uh, one person, uh, every time I told him to reboot his computer, he was just turning his monitor off and on. Oh, yeah. Definitely experienced that as an IT person. And another one is I would have to ask him, are you on a Windows or a Mac? And if they didn't know, I knew <laughs> that it was a Windows. And I just asked him, do you see your start button? Because Windows back in those days had the little start button. Mm -hmm. But if, if I said, if you had a Windows and a Mac and they didn't know, it was a Windows. Windows. <laughs> you could just ask him how many buttons, how many buttons are on the mouse. That would be. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's probably more real. Oh, well, map people always realize, know they have maps. Yeah. Well, because you, you you're in a cult, so. Are we all here? <laughs> yeah, uh, we should be here. Yeah, the room's closed. Have to realize that uh, people don't think like. Computer programmers. I am a computer programmer, and an awful lot of uh, computer programmers don't think like me. And I look at what happens in software, and I say, "What?" <laughs> and I think you're such an idiot. It's like, who would pick that choice, right? But you know, I understand, and. I worked in uh, uh, you know in nineteen in the nineteen nineties. Uh, our company would uh, pay people to go to school to learn how to do Word and everything else, right? And I would actually train a number of people. Uh, all right. We all ready? There, yep. A number of things that would happen that was like, you know, you hear about it on the internet or whatever, and it's like, uh. <laughs> all right. Okay. We know our Greek letters. Yes, we will go, to, we will proceed to scoring. 
And to do so, uh, rather than reading the whole alphabet right now, we'll go to the scoreboard and call on people uh, the lowest uh, the lowest score first. Is that correct, Susan? It's however you want to do it. The lowest score first. Um, the ones with the least amount of points at this stage, and New then fewest. and the fewest number. Thank you so much. <laughs> the fewest number of points at this stage and then keep in mind if two of you have it it counts if three of you have it three of the teams have it it's out that's the variant okay so um i don't know remember the numbers of the the names so the number the the team that's in the lowest place with 24 points is psychic celebrity killers.com <laughs> the one that what is number holding that? team karen <laughs> the one that is holding the base solidly right oh yeah <laughs> is that if, if we're playing golf we're winning who will be, peggy or who will be i i got him i got him okay okay we Go have for... alpha mm. anyone else have alpha <laughs> Yeah, we Nobody do. else has alpha. Yeah. We do. Okay. Deborah's oh. team has alpha. Anyone else? We do. That's, ah. a, that's a third team. No All score right. for alpha. That's two teams. Wait. That's only two. The Deborah. No, that's three. Oh, total. Count us. Gotcha. Right. Because we count. Okay. So alpha doesn't count. Beta? Anybody? No one beta. has a beta. That is a point. Alpha three, beta, my favorite grocery store. Delta. Mm -hmm. Anybody have Delta? No one has Delta. That is a point. Woot, woot. Oh, Susan, you're a genius. Uh, I knew you were going to do that. I knew it. <laughs> Susan says Omicron. No one will use that because of the virus. We got it. We got it. One okay. other point. Wait, Rob and Paula. Well, that's Rob. That's Rob Paula. Only it's one voice team. per team. It. Is that yeah. one team or two? Might just be one team if Rob, Rob will do our voices. Okay, Paul Rob and Paula are on the same team. So okay, that you guys got to pick that one person. Okay, so we got Omicron because there's only one other team. Yeah. Pi, P-I, P-I, Pi. Or we got P. it. Oh, or P. <laughs> Josh. Or P. So two teams have that one. It is a point. Wait, it is a point. Wait, who's who's answering for our team because we have pie. I don't know. Okay, yeah, you, you know have the scores, don't you? Sorry. Okay, wait, wait. I was assuming I was doing it and didn't realize I was. Okay, doing I'm it. stopping right now. Advice. Let me let me name the teams and tell me who it is who's going to be on your team that is announcing. So the Pro Vax Oath Keepers from Washington. Who is the representative? Jeff. Me, Jeff. Okay, so Hello. let's go. Darwin is. Me, Carl. Carl. Unverified Venezuelan ventriloquist. Paula can do it. Paula, okay. you're doing it. Okay. okay. No What's up, anyone. Maureen? <laughs> I will. Okay, Deborah's will. doing it. And then Peggy's got it for the psychic celebrity killers. Okay, now. Okay. So I'm thinking we have beta because there's only one other team. I'm thinking we have Delta. Do we have Omicron or not? I'm completely confused about Omicron. My team has Omicron. Okay, that's only one team. That is a point for both of okay, you. Okay, so we got that one. Pi, P-I. Or My P. My team has Pi. We, we, ha we have it. That's one. And we have it. So okay. that's Rob. Have Rob, it. You, you nominated me to say your team. Yeah, but I didn't hear you talking. So I don't your audio is a little glitchy, by the way. I, th I said I was the first one to say that we had pie. I, I heard you. I, I didn't heard hear her. you. Okay. And Jeff said as well. So that's yes. three teams. No, okay. no point for that. Right, no so pie for you. No. The point. next one is Lambda. We got pop, we got that. Okay, that's two teams. That's a point. Okay. Correct. The next, the next one is new. Uh, M U M M is a marry you. New. We have that one. Jeff's team has that. Is there another team that has mu? No, that's a point. All right. 
Um, the next one is row or H O. Okay, yeah, pause. Pause we just a row. moment. Pause just a moment. Faith believes there's a discrepancy. Okay. Carl, did we have that one? No. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks for checking. So that is a point from you. And next we have row or H O. We, we have, have row. row. Yep, we have it. Okay, so multiple that's... teams have that. I heard um, more right. than one. I don't get that one. Okay, and the next one is Tau, T A U. We have, we have it. We, we have, have it also. Okay, multiple time teams have Tau. Two, three, four. And the final one that we have is Upsilon. We have that. Damn we it, have that. we have that. We have that. <laughs> okay, a lot of teams have Okay, so thank you very much. Hold your score for right now, and we'll go to um, the next highest scoring team. Which would be the Provax Oaks, Oath Keepers from Washington with 28. All right. So, so Jeff, um, will report. we have ETA, ETA. We have that. One team has that. Anybody else? That's a point. All right. We have NU, NU. We have that. One team has that. That's a point for each of you. We had Psi, P-S-I. We, we also yeah. had that. We have that. Okay. okay, three teams have that. No point. We had Z, X-I. We, we have, have that. that. Multiple <laughs> teams. It's out. Ah. And we have Zeta. We have that. Yep, we have that. Two teams have that. No point. All right. We got three points. Okay, so next up we have unverified Venezuelan ventriloquists. Okay, Iota. Yes, we have we Iota. Have Two, three teams have that, no point. Phi, P-H-I. We have that. We have that. Three points, no point. Three teams, no point. And Theta. No one has Theta, it's your point. Okay, so we just have three points then, I guess. So wait a minute, wait, wait. So you said phi, that's not, wasn't on our list. We had pi. No, we also had phi, P-H-I. No, that, that's on the bottom, which was not on the top 10. I'm looking at the list. What uh, came up between pi and tau on your list? Theta and rho. We had iota, lambda, omicron, pi, theta, rho, tau, epsilon, z, and zeta. The ones I have for points are uh, lambda, omicron, and theta. Yeah, but but we're discrepant because I had pi, pi, and you said phi, which was not on our list. I had both of those, but they're both crossed out anyway, so that we still have three points. Unless All right, you so so we had we had pi already. People had done pi. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But did you or did you not have five? Because that may affect whether. No, we didn't have five. Three teams had it. How okay. many other teams bye had phi? Bye bye. Phi by phi, otherwise known as phi. I have lambda, omicron, and theta. Got it. Next okay, What's up, Maureen? Next team. Okay. So the only one left <laughs> on our list <coughs> is, and I'm not even sure how to say it, it's C H I. Yeah, we got that. Chai. Whoa. Yeah, chai. It's chai. 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 Chai or key. Thank okay. you. Yeah. All right. Did anyone Where's else it? have that? CHI? My team has it. That's two teams total so far. Great. You get that point. Oh, good. And that okay. was it. Everything else was eliminated or we already got a point for it. Okay. Wonderful. The final team. How many team. did we get points for, Deborah? Let's go, Darwin. We'll call, All right. we'll call the points at the end. <laughs> All right. So I, there's some confusion. So I will say the only thing I have, I'm unsure of is how many other teams had PHI? We did. Uh, that's one other team or two other teams? One other team. Oh. So PHI is a point. One other team. That's a point. Okay. okay. Then we got another one. It was Woo! not on Rob and Paula's team. Okay. okay. Well, that's Are there any... that's, that's if, everything that's left for us. Any other teams to report? Okay. Let's. Uh, do you want me to read the whole alphabet? You all know it, right? So we'll do the uh, scores. Okay, let's go over to the scores. Are there any letters maybe that you didn't know? Everybody knew the alphabet. Okay, go for it. So where do you want to start, top or bottom? The bottom, the 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 people holding up the base of the evening. <laughs> the foundation. The, 
raising the average up here. Oh, okay, boy. so psychiccelebritykillers.com. We have five. Woohoo! Oh, good job. Wow. Very Thanks good for job. the strategy of taking the obvious. Damn. Thank you for listening. Thank you, team, for actually listening to my suggestion <laughs> for the first time ever. ever. Um, nobody ever <laughs> does ever, that. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. So, Provax Oath Keepers from Washington. Three. And then we have Unverified Venezuelan Ventriloquists. Three. And then we have, what's up, Maureen? I guess we ended up with three. And let's go, Darwin. Four. You have a popular four. three. Four. We got four. <laughs> four? Four? Maureen got four. Oh, Maureen got four. We no, we had three. No, we got um, we new. We got new alpha. No, we didn't get alpha. Oh, we didn't get alpha. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I'll shut up. And so that's where our final scores are. That even did out a lot more. I like I like categories like that where they do this. Very, very good. It was Thank delightful you. hopping around the rooms. And my favorite thing was the uh, Princess Bride bit that was oh. going on in Faith's room with Carl and Faith. I love that. I was hoping that would happen with people. Well, they might, but then we could. But what if? Yeah, it was more about, yeah, you beat by Spaniard. So you meant no man is mortal. So IOK powder must be in that vial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that it's, was great it's how it works but now that you guys oh. found the strategy that it's some even amount very good now before anybody goes anywhere i need to fill out tomorrow uh next tomorrow next <laughs> next game i have deborah i have Lori, and who's going to go run it by um saunders i have adrian so i have one and a bonus that i need so who's ponying up that doesn't normally pony up who hasn't done anything in a while or at least didn't do it this week. Honored. Mm -hmm. I see you're allowed. Honored. Allowed. <laughs> I, I probably Leonard. can. Oh, uh, Leonard has a category, so I need a I need a um, bonus. Twice. I'll do a bonus. Woo! Now, what do you guys think about this idea? to bring in something that allows a, maybe in a bonus category in a future, not saying that James has it at this time, that can make you take negative points. Mm. Yeah. It ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't like it. I kind of like the idea because I sure like to see things that <laughs> happen at the end that is like, what? A spoiler, right? That's more information and maybe we'll entertain the idea. Yeah, so think about it. I would entertain the idea of uh, the possibility of like what karen did tonight but if three people get it somebody what, they all lose a point what about the jeopardy idea we had where we could wager points in the last round oh. somehow we had to come up with some kind of concept where we can say okay we had 30 points and the team has 40 points we need more than 10 to win so we can wager points and they would be negative or whatever something like that i don't know how we'd come up with it but somehow to make like a double double or nothing or something like that. If you get eight out of 10, you get a bonus of five or something. Somehow to wager on the last run. It would be kind of fun to find a way of somebody who's in the last place to 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 soar and get take overtake the lead. Yeah, or the yes. person or the lead in last team place team be able gets, to lose. The team in last place gets to rob a player from each other team. <laughs> I could randomize I, you guys I, I, and just throw you around. I think it ain't broke. Don't fix it. I yeah, agree. it's not yeah. bad. You know, it's, yeah, it's, I, it's I, good I, as it is. It's good as it all is. right. All right. Okay. Well, thank you all. Nice Thanks, break. everybody. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. That was a great game. Thank you, Karen. That was really fun. Thank so, you. Richard, how is tomorrow? Um, hot and humid. Oh, I'm going to work in the yard tomorrow, so that's a good idea. I'm glad that it's hot. No, have really. have a great week, you guys. Humid. Take care, Richard. Bye, Bye. Bye everybody. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Take good care. Stay safe.